Good morning. Good morning. What's bopping? Oh, dude, I'm well aware that I'm extremely late. But you see, your girl's a fucking moron who thinks she's above sleep and anything else. Because I was like both tinkering the Nilmon V-Pad, like the completely custom one that I made um, for the Digimon TCG theme that I use on Discord. I know that's uh, on stream. And I also was like fine tuning the deck because, you know, as you know, I've actually recently gotten into the Digimon TCG in physical format and not just digital. You know what that means? <clears throat> I'm attending my first to bigger tomorrow. local today. Basically on Thursday, you know, people in the local games so just kind of like, you know, hang out and trade and all that. And I was actually there and it was an incredibly chill time. I'll talk about it in a second. But first of all, <coughs> Project Matthews, Hoboner and Leshnader, thank you so much for the resubs. And Hobo, uh, Nakurio, thank you so much for the raid, hell appreciated. So you ditched MTG addiction to get a Digimon addiction? Yes. <laughs> the first deck that I built. Okay, so technically the first deck that I had uh, is like the starter Shumon deck. Because I like the way, like I read Digimon Liberator, which is like the online webcomic that is by the way completely free to read. Uh, and then <clears throat> I basically modified it. Uh, I didn't have the EX7 cards just yet. I still actually don't have them. So what I essentially am doing is like I basically threw in some Godramon and like a bunch of other cards from like previous sets and honestly I've been shredding that stuff on, on Thursday I've been having such a good time with that deck like it's actually incredibly competent <clears throat> even like said for like either anywhere between today and tomorrow my EX7 box is gonna arrive please pray that I get the Sendromon that I actually want Women are powerful. Dude, it's crazy because like when I got into the Digimon TCG, I was like, ooh, I'm gonna play Machine Dramon. I'm gonna play Diabodamon. I'm gonna play like the big scary monster. And what did I find myself doing? Maybe it's because I'm genuinely a big fan of like aggressive femininity. Like I love characters like, you know, Bayonetta, right? And, and the colors. So um, now my favorite decks are pretty much um, Sandromon. Um, you know, Jellymon and Sakuyamon. Sakuyamon in particular, the playstyle makes me feel like some like actual fucking priest, like you know, yeeting my fucking Onyoji, and by that I mean like my fucking plucking cards at the enemy while trying to like exercise them, and that shit is good. <clears throat> in many such cases in TCG, I mean, I still want to like you know build a Diabodamon deck and then Mugendramon deck. The biggest concern right now however is like really money because like I was like I'm like 90% done building a Diabodamon deck and then Bandai went ahead and stabbed me in the back. Fucking bastard company, you know what they've done? Are you winning son? Hey yo, Kanikolumi, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Now, I wanna continue my tangent just like seamlessly. You know what's really disheartening? When the deck you want to play needs three motherfucking promo cards, okay? And now, don't get me wrong, I'm not opposed to like spending uh, money on physical cards. I am, however, incredibly opposed to spending $25 three times on a fucking promo card that shouldn't be one! <laughs> it's so fucking bad. It's so bad. I'm genuinely like that fucking close to like kind of like just hit up my dad for, uh, for my birthday next month. To be like, hey, for my birthday, I need these three pieces of cardboard so I can attend locals better, please. <laughs> I'm actually pretty convinced like he's gonna like you know understand it too if I explain to him that it's like you know for competing and it means a lot to me. But man, yeah, that set of promos is so fucking pricey. You wait for me. How was your stream? <clears throat> Welcome, writers. I'm Moriko Kiho, Damas for Venom. I play retro games, indie games, fan games, and the likes today. All about Digimon, though. Mostly like the TCG, but also some other stuff, too. Haha, <laughs> she got addicted to the colorful cardboard. Colorful cardboard makes me feel like a fucking god. <laughs> like, again, I was like at my first, um, like, just like a um, regular friendlies hangout on Thursday. And local, pretty much like today. 
two hours after stream. I'm really looking forward to it. Let's see, poor MTG, but still more expensive than it should be. Why do you think I hopped off of, like, MTG? I fucking hate wizards, and I fucking hate everything it has kind of become. And every other week, I get somebody trying to look into my stupid fucking face and telling me, No, no, please, it's gotten good again. It's gotten... No, they, they, they fixed everything. And I look, look inside, and it's still dog shit. Wizard of the Coast is fucking cancer, and it's like... And it's like keeping it fucking mild, bro. You spent your first ever paycheck you ever got on MTG. Hell yeah. <clears throat> you knew a guy who said the same, but the cardboard was acid. Hell yeah. Dude, I'm pretty sure like being into like hard drugs is gonna be like cheaper than being into TCG men. <clears throat> you like to make people mob with mono blue tron. Dude, mono blue is perfectly evil. Now with no battery I for more am the mascot. No 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 no. Hold on. Let's bring forth the sun. Here we go. <clears throat> it's only you who gets to play. It's so fucking toxic, man. <laughs> I understand, man. Mm -hmm. If you eat the card, you get it super power suit for real. Speaking of the sun, exactly there he is. <clears throat> With little Gelmon head. Any cute? How many rarity got does the Digimon TCG got him? Sacred Rare is like, you know, as rare as it's gonna be. And it's like, you know, one guarantee per box. But that's pretty much it. We got like rare, uncommon, rare, super rare, secret rare. And then it's of course like, you know, art rare, except they're not really like their own. Like alternate artworks are not really like their own rarity. <clears throat> it gives you autism and tummy ache. If I already have autism and tummy ache, okay, how much worse can it be? I can deal with one of them, but not the other. I don't know why too, because like I'm very incredibly like, you know, pain resistant, but like anything on the stomach, like, you know, inside, just like, you know, like the mild stomach and I'm like, ooh, ow, ouchie, ow, ah, I'm dying, <laughs> it's over. <laughs> like I can fucking walk home from like a birthday party with a fucking shattered tailbone and tell myself, oh, I'm just being a bitch better, not like, you know, cause the scene. But like, you know, a little bit of like tummy, tummy ache, it's like, oh no. <laughs> Stomach is fucking long, so there is more place for pain. True. Yeah, oof, ouchie, ouchie. Exactly, you get it, no? <clears throat> or so you refuse to, <laughs> you refuse to mod because you just don't play the mono blue day player, you know what? There's actually a better solution. I have specifically in MTG, I've made a few decks with the intention if I fight like specific arch you know, like specific archetypes, I'm just gonna bring out like something that's not there to win, but something to be annoying. And I'll just fucking stare somebody down for if I have to, 40 minutes straight, as none of us are getting to our goal. And honestly, it fucking goes hard as fuck. Or putting a gun to his head until he chooses a different deck. That's how I felt because like on Thursday when it's actually insane because like I didn't expect there to be like any girl at all at the um, local, you know, like hangout. And it made me like really happy to see like another one. And she was even like the first one who was there together with me. So like she kind of just like, you know, like introduced me to like the physical aspect of it because it's always like a little bit different than just like playing on an online simulator. And... She had two decks, right? One was Imperial Dramon. Whole meta slave package, okay? We had the Paladin Ice, we had like everything in there. And, you know, I want to get along with people. I don't want to be a fucking, you know, dickhead. But you have to understand, Imperial Dramon is top tier and probably like the most mind numbing thing. To like not only like you know watch someone play but also like you know play against right and the other one was just like you know really cute love mon deck so i just really had to be like haha yeah yeah you know somebody as cute as you you should oh, you should play like love mon against me like it suits me so much more <laughs> what is an mtg color terms um she she had big meta slave blue deck or baby starter deck. 
non-blue. Mm-hmm. Imperial Dormant is so fucking bad, man. To be fair, I ha only had like... Um... I only had like my Shumon starter deck. And again, I did kind of modify it. Um, was just like, you know, whatever I could find. Um, together with a friend if I had... Uh, together with a friend's help. But man, did I not want to like fight something that's like extreme. She's at 10, but she runs a bunch of Ukumons. To the trash, she fucking goes. I mean, to be fair, in her, in her defense, she just really likes, you know, like, Vemon and Imperial Dramon, like, early season 2. And I'm always in favor of playing, like, your favorite, you know, Digimon in the TCG. However, if your favorite is Magnamon, you're, like, the human equivalent. The personification of, like, you know, the... Of like a monster hunter longsword player if you imperial dramon i don't even know what to call you i'm pretty sure it's not stream legit just know that if i see one more of you guys around one day it's like you know 99 percent of you just like you know on the whole wor world <laughs> please man <laughs> dukemon dukemon is a fucking meme but you know what i'd rather be a dukemon meme than a magnamon asshole <clears throat> Um, yeah, Rip and Pyramid Curse to catch a Thrace over their most successful um, um, sister deck. I mean, to be fair, it, when it comes to like physical card play, it just makes more sense to like kind of play like the Hyper Meta Shin. Because like the other, like the red purple bottom deck, it's just like so fucking expensive to like play physical because like half the cards are promos because Bandai doesn't want people to play their TCG. It's impressive because when it comes to Digimon, they are doing everything in their power. I'm pretty sure they're actively trying to, like, make that thing get forgotten. Right, yeah? They know news about, like, the new alleged game about, like, the Olympus 12 in, like, God knows how many years, right? We haven't even seen anything yet. Um, Anime-wise, they've just been, like, you know, shitting the bad uh, repeatedly, even if the movies were kind of hit. Huh? You know, for the TCG, they just keep, like, making... It's a really good TCG. I love it. But then you see shit like, hmm. Ah, yes, of course. We're gonna, like, make a limited time P Bandai promo card. Or, like, in a 1-5 chance when you buy a box or whatever to, like, get what you want. And I don't even think that shit, like, kind of makes them more money. The only thing it did, the only one that gets more money out of it, especially from, like, the P Bandai shit, is, like, you know, pretty much, like, resellers, like, you know, like, a few months later. You know, <clears throat> Bandai trying and failing to kill their Digimon is... They release, like, here, the fucking <clears throat> vital bracelet. Huh? Almost no advertising except for, like, their first model, which was also, like, the worst one. Then they release a better one. Zero advertisement. Um, release, like, all the dims and whatever. And then, like, this year, only actually a few weeks ago, you know what they decided to do? Ah, uh, we're taking down the app and we're no longer producing, like, you know, anything for it anymore. Ooh. In my opinion, combining, like, a V-pattern and the walking aspect. Like, you know, exercising and, like, you know, like, and then, like a little, like, you know, bracelet that's like, kind of, like, more inconspicuous than anything, right? That you can actually wear. That, like, you know, tracks your steps and just, like, you know, let's say bring it on the go. It's, like, the next evolution of like anything VPAD. It just made sense, right? I've been advertising the vital bracelet. I've probably cost more sales for like damn fucking bracelet this year alone than Bandai has like in the past like you know two years, man. It's crazy. Yeah, it works without yet because they released an offline version. So like you know they basically took down the online battle functionality that the app had. But you can still like store your Digimon and like send them on like little offline adventures here. Fuck a Pikachu too was dope for that, hell yeah. They should partner me as Digi amb Ambassador Leader. I don't think I could, uh, uh, like, Ambassador Leader. You wanna know why I couldn't do that? I, you know, inside me are two wolves. One wolf is like, yeah, I fucking love Digimon. I love this franchise. Holy shit, I would love to, like, you know, officially just, like, you know, talk about it, introduce more people to the TCG, help them get into it. Whether it's, like, you know, like the webcomic, which is really good and free, by the way. Or, like, you know, a Cyber Sleuth, or, like, you know, the game. Or if you, like, you know, prefer, like, the anime, there's, like, some really good fucking shit, and the movies, too. On the other hand, the second wolf is, like, Bandai is a bunch of incompetent, double, stupid, fucking 
who have has a fucking toy company that can't even make fucking toys, man. I could not. Eh? I could not do this shit, man. They have absolutely driven some of the most dumbest fucking decisions in some of my favorite franchises. Not even like, you know, only Digimon. Dog shit fucking company. Anyway, when the fuck is the next like Yu-Gi-Oh! modeling kit coming out? <laughs> I know Wink Dragon of Raw should be soon. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, Rocker, thank you so much. Almost three years, goddamn. You should do an inside 9 11 Messi for his ambassador move. I agree. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally, this fucking image is just like. I fucking hate Bandai. Everything they do just makes no fucking sense. It's like they want the fucking franchise to fall. It's crazy. Why the fuck did you do that, man? Oh my god, new modeling kit. Hi! <laughs> oh. There's been a second card um, drop, Mr. President. Oh shit! <laughs> mm. Is uh, Ghosty Boy still here? Um, because like somebody here mentioned, they actually got their first um, Digimon starter deck in real life. Which I'm really happy to have like inspired them by. But like there was talk about their nobody being in their, you know, like anyone near them to like play the Digimon TCG. Um, <clears throat> have you done the TCG right now? Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Let me tell you one thing right now. Are you aware of the Bandai TCG Finder Plus app? Bandai TCG Finder Plus is actually really cool because like that's actually what allowed me to kind of like you know gauge that even in my bumfuck nowhere plays there are a few people who play or like a few places that actually host that stuff because you can essentially just like um yeah it's like mills in your area for Digimon it's actually really sick right yeah? um because I can like sign up to locals or like you know anything like up to like you like specify how far away it should be from you the only thing I'll say it's like maybe try using the browser version instead of the app right even though it's made to be an app <clears throat> even though it's literally made to be a fucking app to tell you right now that when i tried to register for it now i felt like a fucking dumbass i typed in my username i typed in my everything and then it's like hey phone number and then of course yeah phone number okay there can be no hyphens in your phone number Weird. I didn't put any hyphens. Like maybe, is there a space? No. Let me type it out. Mm. No hyphens in your phone number allowed. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, do I add a hyphen? Maybe that will confuse it. No hyphens. Okay, sorry. I'll remove it again. What about now? No. Let me try again later. Still no. It's actually crazy. But I know, like, <clears throat> for some people, the app like works. Like I know, like people in my area tend to like use the app a lot to like sign up for stuff. Um, I just kind of like, you know, use the browser, um, Bandai TCG Finder Plus and, and that way actually see what's around. The catch up them started doing FNM and Warhammer and moved into a second location on the other side of town. Man. Okay, that's really, that's annoying. I tried to remove hyphens from World History. I've been thinking about it. The worst part, because I live in a non-English speaking area, I know that must be like a big shock to you. I sent a screenshot of the entire no hyphens allowed thing. It's like, you know, of course I have the app installed in English. And you know what the person, the IRL friend said? What does hyphen mean? And it's just, you know what? I can't fucking do it anymore. I'm uninstalling this fucking app. You know what? I just, this is it. This is <laughs> Why doesn't the area just speak English? I know, they must be like really fucking stupid, man. <laughs> oh man, it's really cool. Like again, I really fucking love TCGs. I've been in so into so many. Um I still got like, you know, all my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. I still like, you know, playing on occasion in like older formats and all that. And and a swore of MTG almost entirely. Mm -mm. Like, Digital CG just like hits so fucking good. Huh? Like, the versatility of like, you know, stuff you can actually make. It's great. And like, I would have probably given up on like physical um, card collection had I not met like some really lovely people 
Oh, wait, they were all like so kind actually. Were you into Hearthstone? I was hella into Hearthstone, man. Love my silly little um, dino decks. I even like stayed with it like a little bit longer than I ever should have been. <laughs> but man. Mm -mm. Yeah, one kept putting hyphens in there. I believe in them. You love it too, but then the sets got duty. They got hella duty, bro. Like, I even thought like Hearthstone is actually really cool because like it can do things that other TCDs can't do by like you know being. I know it's like it's not like the only like you know online thing that like essentially can't be played physical. But like it had so much like you know it not had so many like you know I characters and IPs to use and and even like did make good use of it. I like the mana system. I like how it ramps up rather than just like you know letting you like you know do big shit from the very beginning. And then it just like shit that bad because it's of course it's fucking Blizzard. Oh my fucking god. You know what? I should I should talk like you know Namco a lot and I don't think like Monday Namco a lot. I don't think I'll ever stop. Them. Blizzard is actually worse. I have like a personal vendetta against that fucking dog shit company. All Ben Brown and then he left. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, I might have fine. And it's like I only thank you so much for the resale, so I'll appreciate it. You can't trace not even in the Bandai TCG app, dude, it's fucking over. They're gonna make Hearthstone 2, and it'll be the exact same game, but with a pa battle pass, dude. Could you fucking imagine? <laughs> of course we can, it's fucking Blizzard. I know, man. I saw, like, WoW go to shit, like, in real time after um, I've been into it, like, probably, like, at a way too young age, given that my parents were into it. <clears throat> The last time we checked, the game already had a battle pass. I mean, that was way true. All the high seas with space right now. Let's go! Ah, dude. I love TCGs. I can just go and straight up, like, inject that vein into- that shit into my veins, bro. Even more so what I actually like about Digimon. I'll try to, like, do my best to, like, kind of explain, like, in a little bot match in a bit now. How that entire thing works. But, like, it's not just, like, you know, that the colors themselves are, like, saying a lot. I mean, they kind of are, right? Like, you know, it's, like, certain things associated with, like, the card color. Like, for example, red, you know, hit big, unga bunga, blue. You know, literally, it's just, like, you know, the same thing where it's just, like, okay. <clears throat> um, the evolution, uh, funny control, yellow, like, you know, a lot with, like, the security stack. Um, green is just suspend, unsuspend fucking fuckery. So, like, technically also, like, a form of control, huh? Um, purple. Purple is just evil. Lots of trashing, lots of, like, you know, other, like, you know, like, graveyard effects and whatever. And then there's black, which exists. It has machines and non-machines, and it does different things big time. The goggles get crunched, too? No, they don't. They can't. Imagine Yu-Gi-Oh having such a great app like Master Duel, but not um, Digimon. Dig no, let me tell you right now. Bandai has made a fucking Digimon TCG app, but you wanna know like the biggest fucking joke? They made a Digimon TCG practice app that completely has functional digital Digimon card game battling. However, it literally allows you to only do like, you know, four matches or so. Where it like, you know, introduces you to the card game and then it's like, that's it. We programmed this entire thing just to teach you how to do it. Eh? Buy our product. I'm, however, really fucking happy that Bandai is actually too dumb to like capitalize on that. And do you want to know why? Because that allows for, like, you know, fans to, like, actually have made a functional um, auto sim that is completely free. Which I feel like has its merits and, like, its unmerits, too. But, like, if Bandai made, like, an official Digimon TCG sim, 
it would have easily been like the most expensive shit on earth. So I feel like if anything, it's a good thing that they actually haven't capitalized on that. I think it's a stupid move business-wise for them to do so. The way Pokemon has handled it with like giving each booster pack like a little code, like incentivized physical buying and then like, you know, also playing digital and like, you know, like putting like little codes on like, you know, starter decks too, like one-time uses. That's smart. I feel like genuinely that's actually really fucking smart. However, we can't expect anything too smart coming like out of the Digimon fucking owners now, can we? <clears throat> The same thing with like One Piece CG. So again, thank you Bandai for being fooled. Oh boy. And it's a shame that like in the Pokemon of all... Did my phone just turn off? I forgot I wasn't charging me phone. <laughs> I wasn't charging my phone. Hold on. No movement. Until phone charge. <laughs> Shit, okay. Great. Let me actually add some like outlines too. Well, um <clears throat> that didn't quite go as I wanted. I was so I was just so <laughs> talking about Digimon and flailing like you know doing the Italian fucking hand talking that I didn't pay attention. So I went from like 5% to uh, zero. Well, how's the weather? <laughs> this is equivalent of like a fatal car crash, but for me, for me too, but true. Well, I cast thing mode. True. Actually, no, I guess I could like... I guess I could just like use Fugi, huh? Hold on. Nice try. I think there was a GBA Yu-Gi-Oh game that let you put in card codes to get them. Yeah, and that shit's sick! It's fucking sick! Alright, here, let's grab them. My, maybe I should like change a little bit, don't you think? That's just like a wee bit. <laughs> okay, let's try something here. What is which? <clears throat> Wait, no? Munch, are you king? Nah. I read the message and figured actually no. I don't know if it's a quote. Huh? I was trying to read it here, but also bro onto nothing. <laughs> if it's a quote, then I'm incredibly sorry, but I like, hold on, let me like. We're gonna improvise here. Um, let's see. Where is... Yeah, okay, we're gonna use this one here. Squangly is gonna stay in the back and we're gonna pretend like it isn't... It isn't there. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I'm sorry I just hit him with like the too long didn't read, but also like, bro... What? There you go. <clears throat> oh, he mistook me for Markiplier. That's what my voice is. It happens all the time, actually. Sorry to who? They can't hear or see once they're banned. Okay, that's very true. I mean, I can be sorry towards someone even if they can't hear me, right? <laughs> yeah, we're back to PNG tubing, just like a little bit temporarily. You know, as it's reading. <laughs> we have songified versions of the PNG. I can show you this year. Um, I am capable of offering them this year. Do you like it? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I'm talking with your mouth for I'm sorry, I'm just hungry. <laughs> I can also offer the lizard. <laughs> Ain't that beautiful? <laughs> Yo! Today is the day they were learned. The lizard actually had a ball gaze of the entire time. Alright. That's a cool dog. Damn right, damn right, damn right. Eh? 
Can you spin a hot dog? I can spin hands, but I cannot spin a hot dog. I'm sorry. Where's the Chinese head? Twitch is not allowing me to do that. Much sadder. I'm gonna go back. The last one was better. You know what? We're gonna go with this. Oh, wait. I think my phone is actually booting up. Let's see. Can you bring Lizard back? I cannot be. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I like this one a lot, actually. Because I like the way the mouth works. But these are our options, essentially. Okay, phone. Don't. Don't let me down. Don't die on me. Um, yeah, 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 low battery. Of course it's low battery. You literally just fucking restarted. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. You hate them all? What the freak is wrong with you? Mm -mm -mm. White woman says it's the background. What does that mean? Okay, where the fuck is... What did I put like my little uh, my my sim code, dude? It's fucking over. Please, I need to unlock my phone, dude. It's like the most awkward fucking stream start I've had in a while, and that's saying a lot because I actually started muted like a few days ago. Um. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. Uh huh, and then. This is the best because it is the most POV accurate from a height perspective. You shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh no, I typed the password. Oh dude, if I type it wrong one, one more time. Okay, I need to log, log in. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, third attempt. Got it. Whew, I would have not been able to use my phone for like a good hour, man. It would have been over. Okay, to be fair, I could have just like removed the funny card. <clears throat> but I quite frankly don't know if I even like have the um, anything point to like open it up here. Okay, there we go. We're so back. <laughs> mm -mm. Um, the gamma on like um, the bad PNG is weird here. It looks um, fine every time you use Inca Collab though. Yeah, I feel like because it's uh, such so fundamentally different from like the background, and I don't mean um, the art style. I mean more. I mean more so the. Um, um, the shading, yeah, like the contours and everything. It doesn't, it doesn't line up with the background. Poor people have the benefit of always looking upward and having a trim chin. Tall people are looking downward and have people with a double chin. Okay, that's true. People are always seeing me from the MySpace angle. And honestly, thank God. Like, on the other time, I... As somebody who's, like, incredibly short, I don't think I've ever, like, seen somebody, even when looking up, and, like, all I really saw was, like, double chin. It's just not a thing that happens, man. Like, I don't know if, like, you know, people like you are just, like, you know, a little bit insecure about it. Let's wait to me. Move the text. We don't need it anymore. Lots of movement for someone uncharged phone. Why do you think it ran out of energy so fucking fast? Alright, there we go. Oh, we're so back. You don't have tall people in your country? Or I literally had like a classmate. Like, you know, who... He was like, you know, one meter... 84... Last year high school. He literally, if he put his like... Like at a regular, a regular angle, he, he put like, you know, put his like... Like leg on the table. He would essentially just like lift the table <laughs> with that. <laughs> like he always had to just say, like just <laughs> uncomfortably just like you know stretch his legs out or like you know try other things, man. I feel I felt really sorry for him. Mm -hmm. I'm still six foot three. I hate being short. Kill yourself. <laughs> but don't. <clears throat> You genetic freak motherfucker, you know damn right that's tall, and you're just trying to like fucking humble brag. In Minecraft, in Minecraft, in Minecraft, 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 Minecraft. You know, now let's see. Get a classmate in high school who was around. Two ten, give or take a few. Mm. God damn. Chins up, was like six foot two. Mm hmm. 
Metaphorically, I think that's a good way of putting it. You were a few people with six foot four. Goddamn. I actually don't even know how much it is. I just know it's tall. Hold on. Six feet in four inches. In. There you go. Do you know? Oh, 193. Okay, that's it. That's actually hella tall. Oh, um, this is the old launcher told you it updated, but you can start target application. Uh, have you used um, the um, client that you downloaded previously? Because you might have to, like, you know, download again, unfortunately. Like, depending on, like, how long ago it's been, like, they got, like, a complete, like, new overhaul. Let's move to Netherlands. You will automatically get taller because people in the Netherlands are taller. Tell that to Nina. I think, I don't think she really got the memo. Man, but I had a great time in the Netherlands, like, last year. So many tall women, it's actually crazy. Yeah, I felt a peanut buddy who was five foot two, real short, and he told him if he was two inches shorter, he would have a handicap spotting. Dude, that actually, you're telling me he, like, man, like, barely missed out on free parking? Life is actually incredibly unfair. <laughs> Were they single? Dude, I don't know, but like, there were like some really, some really like fashionable girlies around, like you know, and like, a, which I don't know if it was just like you know because like okay, she we're in a large area, we gotta like you know look as proper as possible, or if that's just like you know a Dutch thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have a um, boat throttle in the car because they can't reach the pedals, bro. <laughs> You need someone almost seven foot tall. Yeah, that's like a, that's like actually like non-human. They agree like, you know, the next stage or some shit. I don't know, man. We're clearly not the same. <clears throat> oh my god, getting to be the little spoon every once in a while is nice. It's true. I actually just like only like a while ago found out that like the term for when somebody is like the big spoon, but like they're shorter, it's called back, uh, not, 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 what a jetpacking. And that's like the cutest thing I've actually heard in my entire life. But also, how the fuck do you do that without like, you know, like um, suffocating men? <clears throat> the next stage of the shelf, maybe. Hell yeah. The pictures of the tallest and smallest men next to each other is wild. I know, do you mean like um, the, the really short woman and the tallest like man? Dude, that picture is actually crazy. I got stuffed into a bag and survived. Okay, you know what? Very true. Yeah, Pastel, thank you so much for it. You said I appreciate it. <coughs> What's it like knowing you have been around for like four years and... <clears throat> Early next year. Unless you quit out now, which I wouldn't blame you for. <coughs> God damn it. <clears throat> Wait now. What? What are you guys like you? You hug under the arms. Never, never, ever fucking do that. I swear to God. Eh? If for some reason you gotta like fucking carry someone, right? Like you wanna pick them up. If you do it like grabbing under the arms, you go to hell before you die. Please. Jesus Christ. That shit actually like makes me feel like, you know, my my shoulders are about to just fucking rip off of my body. It's so bad. The second tallest man even played in the sitting volleyball in the Paralympics because one of his legs is like 10 or 15 centimeters shorter than the other one. Man. Optimal pickup method? Honestly, doesn't matter if you want to pick up a homie, a male homie or not. Just fucking go and <laughs> just go and fucking bridal carry them. Who cares anymore? <clears throat> that dude probably looks like Slenderman. Mm -hmm. Carry people in the hunt, like how you, how you carry a cat and people need support. Very true. I just ask. 
also very you know what i was kind of going under the assumption that people aren't gonna do it to like people like who aren't gonna be suspecting of that i've had that like you know what once have met a convention where some dude was like oh my god it's such a good cute cosplay and then he tries to like fucking lift me up like you know by under the arms and i swear to god I'm surprised at how fucking quick my reaction times can it be can be when it comes to like you know kicking out of like you know sheer reflex. But Jesus fucking Christ, don't ever, don't ever fucking. Do I did not step. No. You picking someone up? And they're either going over your shoulder, climbing onto your back, or you talking them to pick them up. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> Dude, nothing great and just like you know hugging like you know just like a bear of a friend and then just like you know lifting up because of that now nah, that shit goes actually hard mm -hmm. i'm pretty sure that counts as harassment it is hella harassment man you don't touch people at all ever unless they're like you know agree with that shit man that's why pepper spray was invented amen <laughs> Yo, brother, it was so scared to get on your shoulders, dude. That's actually all sad. Huh? Like one of the earliest memories I had of my little brother, before like you know, when it was just like you know, little little toddler. Mm, I just like you know always like carrying around on my shoulder, and just like be like, hey, this is a I don't know, oven. Can you say oven? Or like you know, just say window. Can you say window? And just like you know, like make him repeat that. And I think we did that like until he was like. Six years old, and then I just couldn't do it anymore, man. I mean, of course, like not with the vocabulary, but just like you know, kind of like carrying him around. You never understand why some dudes think the crap is okay. That's like the thing, really. The majority of dudes are completely fine. However. There, there's the unfortunate thing where just like, you know, growing up without like any contact to people or just like being like very like socially like, you know, maladjusted is essentially you either become like self-loathing and or I'm, I'm tending more towards the or or you become like a ticking time bomb towards others writing. <laughs> Which again, it, and I know it doesn't have to be the case, but like it's it's just there and unfortunate would be. Mm -hmm. I'll become like you. All right, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> you rejected both of these outcomes, hell yeah. Again, I'm not saying everybody, but like there's just, like a good chance rather. Why you gotta call me out like that? Eh? That's what you're more than alright, really. Like, I feel like chances are, if you can interact with someone without just, like, being the kind of person who gets fucking banned in the first two sentences because, like, you know, they they think, like, you know, the, the punchline is a porn addiction. Chances are you're already, like, you know, further up in, like, the common sense scale than you think you are. <laughs> you could just n not be like you for like five minutes you're in nah that's not what i would ever ask it on like i think it's actually um what i appreciate about this community really what kind of like um differs it in my opinion it's like you know people can be like you know openly it's like you know fucking dipshits as they want to as long as it's not malicious right like it can be like your sub horn i'll be like yo bitch what's up or like you like you know like talk about like you know artistic interests and whatever and like um and not have it be a big deal the only thing i ask is of course like you know i'm just like keep it like civil on like a base degree like no maliciousness and no n not on the area of creepy Boy, do we have autistic interests. Anyway, back to the Digimon TCG. <laughs> Not only am I really hyped for the... <laughs> for, again, I plan on like streaming pretty much like in you know, five hours today. Like the funny local later. And I can sing like in the Godram, the Shudramon deck actually holds up. 
I tried rebuilding that one in the online sim, and you wanna know something really funny? Hold on, I have to interrupt my tangent. Should I know what TCG stands for? What? <laughs> Chunky? And I'm, I'm sorry, that statement just... <laughs> You know it's bad when I get like fucking stun locked in the middle out of like talking about Digimon. Holy shit! <laughs> I am sorry. I hope this doesn't like any comment about like bowling, but it's really just like trading card game. <clears throat> and adult sense for Turbo Cancer Gate, okay? so you have to be careful and what, like, in that you always like you know specify the context. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I tried recreating my Godra, you know, Schumann deck in the online sim. And because people have been, like, getting really nasty with, like, giving... Okay, the, um... Giving themselves, like, really mean usernames on the online sim. And because, like, it doesn't take accounts, right? You know, there's just, like, no way to, like, really ban people. And, you know, the opponent has to see that. The way you name your decks and the way you choose your username are on the same system. Which means if they censor a word, it will be banned in both. And do you want to know, like, the funniest fucking part? You know how Zentreya, there's, like, certain games she just cannot play while naming herself Zentreya. Because her name actually gets detected for, like, the middle part as, like, um, not being within TOS. How do you think I felt when I typed in Schumann, hit save, and then I just see Tmon. Can't spell shoe without ho, baby. <laughs> I learned so much. I typed Morphomon for a deck. And it just ended up being... Um, Morphin. Because apparently Morphomon has homo in it. The curse detection is teaching me so much about bad words and things I would have I would have never ever noticed them in. Why is Zentreya's name banned? There's a few um, Eastern games where she cannot use the name Zentreya because of the, you know, it, because of the NTR, like, you know, part in the name. Like, you know, like, you can't spell that, you know, that's like the middle of the deck right there. I think. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know, I didn't, I never in my life, right, would I have ever fucking noticed until. You know, until she like posted about it, and I was like, no fucking way. Yeah, it's like fucking Dark Souls tier fucking censorship writing. <clears throat> you like filling in the blanks of words? No, it's actually incredibly fucking bad. Eh? Because like when it like, you know, changed like shoe. Like, you know, my deck that they called Enhanced Shoe to like Enhanced S asterisk asterisk asterisk. Um, it made it seem like I typed in hand shit, even though that I meant shoe. I forgot about having to think hard about and to figure the Zen thing, dude. It took me like a good minute too when I read it, huh? <laughs> Sastramon is still a banger, it is. <laughs> oh man. No, you can't call another crater. Oh no. But like, you know what's actually really cute, huh? When I basically, like, you know, went to, like, the hang... You just, like, the hang out there. And I had nothing but my... favorite fucking shoot one deck. Because, like, I... I showed you, like, you know, like, my little Kuromi, um, you know, platform... Um, you know, sneakers before, right? I think they actually go, like, really fucking hard. And I was like, you know what, let's actually, like, just... Just wear, like, something silly for that occasion. I was right to do so, but, like... 
because people are really bad at like remembering other people's names. I mean, I know I am. And so I was like, hmm. Okay. Fancy shoes. Doom one. Yeah, I think I'll call you shoe girl from now on. And two other people like actually joined in on that. And you know what? As somebody who really enjoys the fucking Shumon and Sandromon deck, this is on one hand like the biggest fucking honor. On the other hand, bro, it's been like, it's been, I've been there for like four hours, man. I can't already have like a nickname, <laughs> an established one. <laughs> it's too early. Is the kind of nicknames you live for? Hell yeah. Are we getting Sokmon anytime soon? I'm trying to think if we have if we have anything like that. <clears throat> I don't think so. And I hope we actually never do. People are not going to be normal about it. Like let me actually show you like the evolution line. Because I really, really like that one. Hold on. Like I've been talking about it like all stream and I don't I don't even know if like people like even know what the fuck I'm talking about but, like you know when I talk about Shumon and whatever. Like I hop into a stream and completely act like everybody just like magically knows everything. Which to be fair, I noticed like a dedicated um dedicated like you know Digimon. Um yeah, like, you know, part of the <clears throat> part of part of the people here are Digimon fans, but like not not everybody. Hold on, let me like We just love to hide our ignorance. You know what? I'm glad you guys like all learned the entire just red. nodded smile. Black. Actually, I think some are gray. And oh, it sure said bats are black. Oh. Anyway, I hope this poem isn't too shallow. Yep. The poem. But I. <laughs> Thank you so much for the reason. Anyway, back to back to Shumon. Check out this evolution line. But it, no, I don't know why. I thought it said like you know, just I, I thought they tried to like rhyme, rhyme black with black because that's what I heard thanks to like the shitty ass fucking TTS writing. Like nothing bad, nothing like you know racially connotated. Just just really wait, what? Anyway, check this out. Huh? Look at him. Look at the stupid little mouse. Isn't it adorable? He, he, he's in. Yeah, no, he's hella cute. Eh? Yeah, that's a little dude in a shoe. It evolves into. Now brace yourself. Shoe shoe mon. Which. I have to admit, it's my least favorite part of the evolution line. Trust me, it's gonna get so much better, okay? It evolves into, like, you know, shoe shoe mon, which is, um, like, you know, a mouse. Pretending to be a squirrel. I didn't know. No, not zombie actually. No, it's actually just like. It's like, you know, a cute, cute like squirrel outfit she's like wearing over there. And um, I really like the entire aesthetic of the line, right? Even though this one's kind of a little bit awkward. Now. Now. Evolves into Chepramon, which is essentially just like, you know, BB hooding all over again. Like, we're literally getting. You know, the entire, she likes to like chew on her like Monza Amon gummy. She likes, um, um, hunting Digimon with the big bad wolf trade and just like wear them as shoes, right? Yeah, the fucking wine Molotov is actually really fucking cool. <clears throat> Evolves into Sandromon. With like a bunch of like mice and minion. You don't get it because like you know they do like the entire Cinderella thing. There's a lot to be said here. Like, you know, between like um like I know people are just going to be like, ooh, woman, ooh. The lore actually goes crazy. Do you have any idea how crazy the lore for like Central Mon like specifically goes actually? Yeah, it's like an SMTS design, you know, don't um get me wrong. No, those are shoes. Those her entire legs are like the Cinderella slipper. That's why. That's why this actually ties the line together. We go from like, you know, this like dinky all little shoe. It's like being stitched together to like roller skates. So like, you know, shoes made from like, you know, big bad wolf. To like, you know, the glass. There was like glass slippers. Like, you know, give manifest. And she likes go like scoring like en enemies with them. And you know what was even cooler? 
Hold on, let me like actually like read like from the Digimon reference book here. Okay. Basically, a Mega Digimon one-up data from the Fairy Tale Cinderella. It's like the way Digimon work. It depends on the setting, but like in oftentimes, you know, they will literally just like you know take data and like work with them and like incorporate that in, like into their stuff. It's a crazy evolution, I know, but like they basically inhabit volcanic regions, which is really fucking cool because again, not only because of like you know the Cinderella thing, which again, where you think like the entire Cinder part comes from, but also because like again, she literally has like glass. You know, legs, it's really fucking cool. Um, and there's a quiet life in solitude and unseen by others. And, you know, the ash-coated castle, a base made from volcanic ash. Uh, when other Digimon visit the castle, however, it holds battle tournaments um, it calls balls, which is also really cool. And it holds a con contest and engages in constant battles in search of a Digimon capable of and defeating it, um, that it might proclaim the Digimon as prince. Really fucking cool. Dude, I'll get to the clock gun in a bit, okay? But like the way it works, she has like a great number of attendants searching for candidates, right? They like the little like mice and the little um, bird familiar and like even like others you see here. Yeah, she holds her own tournament arc on seeing who is actually worthy, right? But like what her like, you know, attendants do is they will basically travel far and wide looking for strong Digimon to gain Sandromon's favor, you know, and basically hand them the slipper like, you know, hey, hold that. And they were just like, you know, getting... <laughs> the, the, distributing them and basically just like gonna you know, be sent over to her castle right it's actually fucking sick like they actually forcibly transported into like the ash covered castle like the slippers are actually hella and nuisance here and again <clears throat> let me actually show you the clock gun like again this is all from this is all from like the webcomic, which is completely free to read. And again, it's hella worth it because it's all about the TCG. Hell yeah, hold on. Where can I get a good image of the clock gun? Um, <clears throat> What's that a Pokemon? Ew. No, but thank you so much for the race up here. Dude, I'm gonna lose my mind. Second three hour rant stream. Dude, I've been craving. I've been like really just like craving. Um, talking about like, you know, Digimon for a while. So I'm actually really grateful I got to like, you know, find time in the schedule for that one. Dude, where the fuck? Where the fuck is a good picture of her funny gun? Or don't take seriously, like, you know, open up the fucking panel in the comic. <clears throat> Wish they kept the color scheme. Yeah, but like it just like makes unfortunate amount of like you know sense to like kind of keep it to it, like have it like that writing. Again, the familiars are such a nuisance because like the way. I thought he'd open the panel. Yeah, I'm trying to fucking find it, but now I, if I knew I was gonna talk about it, you know, I would have maybe just like not done it like that. And now, now look at me, who's the fool? <clears throat> Not the new Imp online. I know, dude. It's, I mean, it actually makes sense. Or at least, like, you know, I have heard him. Take what I'm about to say with, like, a grain of salt. I have heard him. That is because Impmon was originally supposed to be, like, you know, the main Digimon for Tamers before they actually were like, no, let's actually go for something more friendly, something more marketable. So, like, actually making the line, the entire, like, you know, heavy metal mon line, more based on, like, the ground mon line, but, like, you know, even more musically themed, is actually so fucking cool. I thought this makes between um, Little Red Toad and, <clears throat> and the wolf um, that tried to eat her proves when you to become your enemies. I mean, again, she is literally wearing... She's, it's not really like part of her as much as it hunts them down and then wears them as shoes. It's essentially just like, you know, saying, I know just because you have like a purse made out of like, uh, you know, crocodile leather or some shit, I don't know. Doesn't mean that you're part crocodile, or at least I hope so. I wouldn't want to be part crocodile. Mm -mm. Jack Kanakam has an old um, blog page where he states that it's true. Okay, so I'm glad um, that wasn't compl that wasn't un too untrue. That's actually really fucking sick. That actually tell people about Gabumon. We're not going through like the entire like Gabumon without further debate because that's gonna like open up some really old fucking wounds I wasn't ready for. Hmm. 
But if you have here exponent and you like, you become part dinosaur. Dude, let's go. But if only words so fucking easy. Mm -hmm. Dude, I'm still scrolling trying to like find anything here. Because I know somebody posted a picture of it once. Hey, little Tentamon. Tentamon is fucking adorable. I don't even know what to say, but I would love to like hang out with Tentamon. And just like, I don't know, and know that about like, you know, various shit. Eh? That shit goes hard. Eh? Nobody fucking scratch that one. Bad mom one. You can describe it, you know what? I might have to ask you like to do so because I am not going anywhere I'm trying to like scroll through it. Eh? I love how the first picture of Galamon on Google is him crucified now. Yeah, no, it's become like a big meme. You, you love the Elunam online. Um, especially like this one. Do you know? Nah, I fucking love Elunamon so much. I actually chose um Digimon um like, you know, on Dawn rather than Dusk. Because I I was like, anybody is playing Dusk because it looks good. What if I choose Dawn and just like, you know, see if I maybe, you know, like, like see what else, like, you know, these games have to offer. You know, that was just like, you know, teenage me, like, you know, the little, you know, way of like, you know, rationalizing that shit. And honestly, I grew like hella attached to like, you know, the entire film online too. It goes really fucking hard. I like both. Yeah, no, Tentamon is, like, such a bro, especially because, like, I've been re-watching the Digimon Adventure anime. And I'm pretty much, like, almost done with it. It's actually a lot more... I know how to say it. I thought, like, it wasn't gonna hold up because it's, like, and such a fucking old-ass show. I mean, I watched it, like, you know, like, when it ran on TV as a kid. Um, but I haven't, like, really given it, like, a proper re-watch as an adult. And I've essentially just like, you know what, fuck it. I'll watch like one episode on the treadmill for like warm up every time at gym. And then just like, you know, at the end of like, you know, my gym visit, um, when like again trying to like do another like 20, 30 minutes of cardio, I can just like watch another episode. And dude, it's the show surprised me in how well it actually holds up. Like, sure, it's a lot slower, it's a lot less action packed, but like the way it handles like the um, relationships between like, you know, and Digimon. And people, and the way it's just like handling all like the situations, it's actually really well done. Like I'm very much used to like whenever I like watch old anime, and they just, and like you see, like you know all the constraints. Like you see, like oh, definitely like you know, the budget constraints. Don't get me wrong. But, like I feel like the writing is, despite some hiccups here and there, really like it holds up. And you know, dude, you can literally just like can rest your phone on the tread. And it fucking works, man. <clears throat> hey, what? Thank you, TB. I found the first image. I could not get the hold of the second one. Anyway, back to Sandromon for a second. Because holy fucking th shit. What really fucking got me, and this might be like a minor spoiler for the webcomic, which by the way is really fucking short. It's like six chapters. It's releasing like a new one, like every two weeks writing but like you have to understand that this here right between just like her saying there with like her giant fucking clock tower behind her and then just like pulling this shit and turning it into a gun and like you know just like soon after like picking it up like that that was just like the coolest fucking shit man even more so like the character you see like on the you know left there like the brown haired girl I swear to God, I've never felt more seen in any fucking media than when she was like, okay, in order to like prepare, you know, for a ma for like a match or like, you know, getting back into the TCG, I'll spend the entire night preparing a fucking deck. Um, you hate overclock mechanic. It killed you during the tournament yesterday. It's, it's good. Nah, you can counter that. No. Not my fault. You have no protection. <laughs> He's doing the gun, I suppose. Yes. Not even the first time Digimon has done it either. But it's like you should what you should treat liberated. It's not, it's really not long. It has pretty artwork. I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna drop the link. You know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna drop the link. The free webcomic. That's all about the TCG. 
in chat and i hope nobody is gonna like oh god no oh i dropped it i hope nobody is actually gonna go and and read it that would be crazy huh it's the german liberator hello warsider i don't think you have to necessarily understand how the tcg works but i feel like it would like it helps a little bit like rather i read all the way until like chapter uh three part one um before i got into the tcg and then like after getting to tcg i recently like you know right all the way from like one to like the latest chapter and holy fucking shit eh? does it hit good eh? does it feel like tamus i'm gonna be real i love tamus <clears throat> it's better than tamus in one regard are you ready i love tcgs that's why i am Famous as a kid was like, wow, Digimon and Kakis at the same time. How? Not even halfway through the fucking season, they actually ditched the card game almost entirely. And like even more so, <clears throat> they never show like any matches. And like what they call strategy, it's like, oh, I gotta use my plucking cards to strategize. And then they always like use like the same like three. And it's like never strategy. It's just like here, boom, upgrade, upgrade. Like there is no. I don't know how to say it, man. I like tamers. <clears throat> yeah, the card set was cool, but the Mega Evolution was key. No, dude, Matrix Evolution tickles my brain like nothing else, bro. Holy fucking shit, man. Like the, the Gilmon one is still to this day. Hit me the entire arc around it. Hit me so fucking hard. The writers can make only so many, they got so many tactics on a weekly, but it's not even, they never showed any to begin with, though. Oh, yeah, no, dude, um, the, the writer of Tamers, like, you know, also known for, like, stuff like Lane and other one, other things, essentially, is pretty much, like, known to, like, going into darker things, and they actually, they were like, hey, I see promise in Digimon, but I do think, you know, we should just kind of, you know, push it it's like, you know, try something new within it. And the fact that they were allowed to, just like, you know, barely on the third season after the second one was actually a continuation of the first one. Completely, like, its own standalone. Tamus has, like, no... No sequel. No, I think it has, like, you know, two OVAs, right? Yeah? That just kind of, like, play in the middle of the season. That's about it, yeah? And I guess it's an audio drama of, like, you know, where they are in the future. It's actually really cute, yeah? Didn't Tamus rather come back for the ghost? Wait, no. It's... No way, real it would explain some episodes but like it would make me even more sad that the plot actually went nowhere which again i fucking love those games but man yeah the epilogue is pretty much like runaway lock locomon you right now they've mentioned recently wanting to do a sequel on like twitter don't you fucking dare i don't care if you're the original writer you don't get to fucking touch tamers it had the perfect ending don't fucking touch it. Make something new. We've been starved out of new content. I know one. I, I really know. Unless it's like if a sequel is like in the same like setting, I see the potential. But if you touch like any of these fucking characters, I swear to God. Eh? Tay, my streaming on the way. I'm, I'm gonna throw up. Don't you fucking dare. And what's best ending the time? I feel like it's a nice tie up. Mm. Other like Runaway Lokemon. Is that even like the epilogue even? That's it. It can't be past the ending of the anime. I thought it was like near the end of it when like Crimson Mode and everything is a thing. But not entirely opposed to everything. Honestly, I thought like the drama CD was cute, but like definitely it shouldn't. <laughs> it shouldn't like um, like it's more like okay, it's like a cute like hypothetical, but I don't really accept it like really. Only Remy can take its frontier. So many ideas that were underbaked by the end. Frontier and Zero Two had so many drop concepts. It's crazy. And you know what? I don't want Zero Two to get a fucking reboot, considering what they did to Adventure. 
the fact that like in Frontier they spent like how like at least like 20 episodes or some shit getting beaten by the same fucking Royal Knights over and over again. Dude, even as a kid I was just sitting there like It's like if Team Rocket, eh? But like every time they did like a 9-11 each episode and like the others have to fix it, eh? And that's it, and we're gonna repeat that again and again until like maybe we get somewhere. <laughs> I do the question marks all you want. I'm being entirely accurate here. Mm -hmm. It was because it was after Taka to found the whole Gilmon Duck and allowed um, the Digimon to come back. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, right, they did like, you know. Oh my god, they did show that at the end. I have, I, have, I have to admit the most recent memory I have of Tamers is actually people in my Discord, Arch specifically, hosting like a weekly watch along of like a few episodes. And I was like, oh man, I always miss these, dude. But hey, finally I'm online, I have free time, I can actually check in on the Tamers watch along. I wonder where they are. And it's literally the part of the ending that makes me cry every single fucking time. Like, oh man, I shouldn't have hopped on. <laughs> it sounds like Black War Greymon done wrong. It is hella Black War Greymon done wrong. Dude, I rewatched like the Black War Greymon scenes recently and oh my god, it still fucking hits. I don't care how shitty the animation is if you think about it as an adult. That entire... He is still the goat. Yeah, I got caught crying in the club, man. Yeah, we also watched like Runaway Lokomon right after it's true. Mm hmm. I wish every um, time Team Rocket blasted off again, we got an episode of them in Space Adventure trying to make their way back. It would actually go pretty fucking hard, huh? <sighs> Dude, I meant to like actually be more structured. You know what I've actually prepared? And I need somebody who's into Digimon TCG and into magic. Tell me if they agree with this take, okay? With my take here. Here's how I would describe in my attempt to like mid introduce more people to the Digimon TCG. Here's my idea on how to like translate <laughs> on how to translate the effects. And now we need someone who doesn't know either of them to just be like, what the fuck are you does this even mean? <clears throat> yeah, close enough. Yeah. Like the, the disruption, this means nothing to you. How the fuck can you be such a nerd and not be into like any TCG? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, jamming means they can't die in battle, exactly. Yeah, my favorite jamming. Yeah, I think so too. Like it's actually like I try to like keep it like one to one, but like it's definitely not Ultra clear. They don't like to read. I mean, that's very fair, yeah. Like, I still remember, like, you know, when fucking Digimon survive, but just like the visual novel. You know, fucking story. Easily, like, my top three Digimon media of all time. Um, You know, came out and were like, ew, I don't want a visual novel. Even if it's like, tell and in tactical RPG fucking hybrid. Ew, I don't want to read. And just, huh? Like, does it does it does that shit take effort for you? Like what? Mm -hmm. And what's the Digimon translation for mana burn? Oh god. Yeah, no memory memory cost essentially right now. Yeah, I think like you know, memory and mana are pretty similar. I know. Let me get to get on the left side, but you have no idea what the right side is. <laughs> I'll just say life gate instead of um link. Alright, did it on stuff. Yep. <clears throat> exactly. You know, if anything, I feel like memory is similar to like hearts and mana, except no, it's actually not though. 
There was like another like card game that had like a very similar system, but I forgot because I didn't play that one. You might try from when you played like ages ago and you think it got changed. Mm. Are the chatter words? I don't know about that. Hey, Jelly, how's it going? Hmm. You yeah, Twitch is gonna have a dual chat now for collabs, I guess. I mean, it's nice to like have it be built in. Is that Togemon Ponchimon deck? I like the funny cactus, guys. Honestly, I have like a deck that like uses like Togemon and it's really important in there. Let me actually see Ponchimon. Does it even have a... No, what? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, so there's like two Digimon card games. There's the old one from like 1990 something. And then there, and there's a new one, the one I'm currently playing, the better one, from like 20, uh, from like 2020 onward. Is there only one Ponchomon card? No, there, no, there's none. There's only one old Ponchomon card, but like no, no new one. They haven't made, a, they haven't released a single Ponchomon in the past four years. What the fuck? My day is ruined. I guess, like, you know, Togemon X is actually, like, you know, like, the X antibody is, like, the closest thing we'll ever get to, like, um, having, like, a proper, um, Ponchamon. But, like, let me show what I'm talking about here. This little fellow. He's extremely... There you go. He's extremely cute. cute. Look at him go. He's a um, punchy cactus American dude. All around, just such a goofy little fella. Right, it goes hard. There's only one Pegasus in the game. Wait, for real? It's literally Hans for real. And I guess there's like Togemon X, which again, they're not the same Digimon, but I feel like this is like as close as we're gonna get in. Too bad. It's not quite. Let's see. One of you did. I want to can this You know what? That's decent for something you can essentially play for free if you already have a Togemon out there. Like basically, you tap them and they can like untap until the end of the turn. <clears throat> like four Digimon in one. And that could always be worse. Yeah, he's a ghost cactus who fights. Exactly. Isn't it fucking badass? I fucking love shit like that. Eh? Because Digimon isn't trying to like um, tell you that these are like real creatures that could exist, but like instead just like actual, um, well, digital beings, like you know, virtual beings that can like, you know, like take in like any data that can be like, you know, Malformed, like you know, adjust, adjust depending on like the situations or whatever. They can make anything they fucking want, bro. If they want to, like you know, make like a Digimon made out of like fucking 137 guns min at minimum, they can. If they want to, just like you know, have a cute little fluffy fella. Like, hold on. Let me show you like another, another Digimon Liberator. They don't. I, I don't think you're gonna be ready for it if you don't know him. I'm gonna show you the baby form of the protagonist Digimon. Look at this little competitive egg and tell me this isn't like fucking key peak character design right there. Do you support him? I know, right? Once again, you should read Liberator. You should absolutely go and date That is definitely a baby. I look at him. It's like a cute little dumb idiot. It's, it's great, huh? Support him, hell yeah. You can do a crime good. Huh? And then he did, was an OTK to you. He can OTK his opponents as a trainer. It is baby Pokemon, you're right. Huh? It's also. That's how you make yourself that kind of seem unlike a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not too but cooler, very true. Birds would look like a dinosaur a granium. You would be stoked to see the evolution. And I'm not sure if I should show it or if we should leave, leave it as a surprise for like hold the, for those who wanna like, you know, read the webcomic. You know what? 
I'm gonna show it. Um, I'm gonna show it here. And if you don't want to see it, just like look away for like a good, a good bit here. Okay, because it's gonna. I mean, we already got the other line. We might as well, right? Hold on. Because things are about to like, kind of ramp up. Huh? So we start from, like this little egg dude. Two. Hold on. This is even like a good image. Okay, it's gonna be like. Okay, there we go. So we get like. Oh, it's gonna be blurry as fuck, dude. I don't care. Okay. Fuck it, we ball. So here. This is cool little dude. Who evolves into. Alright. Okay, I see what is going. Never fucking mind it. You know what? What on the welcome back, Yu Gi Oh! Into. Yo! Do you understand? <laughs> it goes insanely fucking hard, eh? And people always be saying they the only turn into people. Nope, they also turn into fucking Gundams, baby. <clears throat> Hell yeah, the trademark Digimon snatch it waste. Exactly. Like a little round boy better. That's completely fair. I don't like some cute, like, you know, Mega Digimon, but for the most part, they tend to, like, kind of, like, develop into, like, the more the badass. Digimon takes evolution not seriously at all, and that's awesome. The way it works is, like, really... Not any Digimon can, like, entirely evolve into, like, whatever, but, like, depending on, like, the data it takes in or, like, the influence around it, it can just do that because, again, they are... That's, like, the, the really sick part, eh? But must they always become humanoid? Hello, Metal... Dude, that's not even true, actually. Diabodamon, Metal Garumon, I can... Dude, what's the fucking other big bird called? <clears throat> that's part of, like, the Safagati, um, thing. Benrelugamon. Dude. I'm gonna... I'm gonna show them several things, okay? I'm gonna, also gonna show them that, you know, the Takemi the, um, Kazuchi one. Yeah. Hold on. Let me save. Let and you know. Yeah, Machine Demon is also like a classic, um, a classic one. But hold on. Can you load it um, there is one card that I am chasing with my entire life, and I don't think I'll ever get in. Because it's um, not only a secret rare, it's like a gold alt art secret rare. In my entire life, I've always fucking despised, like, you know, gold secret rares. But, like, there's one in particular that I want. Allow me to, like, elaborate. This is Fender Lugamon, and it's the fucking largest image, goddamn. He is um, from the other webcomic. Yes, Digimon has, like, two fucking webcomics. The other one, this one here, is actually from, however, secrets only exist in, like, in the machine translated form because Bandai fucking hates its fans. Now, he of course has like a form where he uses with another Digimon to like, you know, go like all fucking Dark Souls on your ass right now. Oh, web novel, not, not webcomic. Sorry, did I say webcomic? My bad. Anyway, and now there's one card drawn by my absolute fucking goat. <clears throat> Here, I'm a Mion, aka the guy who made Gato. And I know this is like visually a fucking mess. However, this is so him. I fucking love his art and I absolutely fucking adore. I I just read it has it's the ultimate fucking Gato Digimon, bro. If I don't in person it looks so much better. That's like the big issue right now. Like, you know, on in like um digital format, like you know, as a picture, it's it's just like visual noise here. It's golden gold. The way it shines, bro, is fucking unreal. But I tried to like, get it online, dude. It costs like over 100. And again, if you think I you can never spend this much on like one piece of cardboard, okay? Unless you're like the biggest fucking tournament, like you know, national tournament goer who knows they're gonna make that money back. You don't fucking do this shit, man. That's amazing. I know. Ugh. Yeah, you pulled like an Imperium on Paladin mode, essentially. I would rather compare it to like, you know, Duke Mon Crimson mode, but yeah. 
and <laughs> just be a tournament level simp again i'm really excited to see how today is gonna go in terms of in terms of locum but i i'm not putting one singular card on fucking yeah if you already feel bad enough that i even put like any like you know booster box on there if i ever put like a single on um on there just fucking shoot me and you know buying booster boxes i would say is not really worth it unless you like buy want to build a collection <clears throat> like i know i do it specifically because you know i'm trading with people and there's also like if the only ones i put on there i know i like i'm gonna need like a lot of cards over right yeah you put that card on the side. i just said i'm not gonna do that yeah or reselling like the way um what i found on thursday is really cute one dude arrived with his like entire like you know ex7 box threw it in the middle of the table and was like here these are my leftovers go ham that's actually exactly how i got the ex7 shumon and uh shushimon that i really needed for my deck that's actually how i was able to like, kind of cock deck bomb oh yeah, and also like wonder stomp <clears throat> They were buying me singles on throne. That's my dad to buy me on my birthday. I I'm still not even sure if I want the. Okay, listen here. If I, if today is gonna be good, huh? and I feel like I have like potential in like you know funny locals, I might just do that. But like if if I didn't like it too much there, I might just like not do that here. Oh, splitting with the crew isn't too bad too. I think y'all can split proper. Exactly. That's what they also like usually do. This could be. Dude, I'm so fucking excited. <laughs> I think I should like also like somewhat like switch to the um, the game scene, especially because I put so much effort into it. You might fuck it. Eh? Let's do that actually. <clears throat> One sec. So, <laughs> speaking of autistic dedication. <laughs> Speaking of absolute autistic dedication, do you see like the player redeem that already got redeemed on the top right? Um, yeah, it is time. I put myself like in a bot match just for the sake of like showing off the mat and everything here. It's pretty much like you know the same <clears throat> scene as last time. I didn't do some balancing for Numemon, and I definitely, I definitely didn't introduce some you know, new mechanics too. Yeah, I fixed the shadow. I added some like more hidden mechanics for like Numa. Mm -hmm. Is it them lagging Sammy still with the walk animation? It's doing it less. I I actually found like another optimization I wanted to like implement. Um. However, I just didn't. I didn't have time for it. I passed out right before stream before I could even like set up my alarm. I figured I'm gonna do an all nighter and just like completely like fuck it, we ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we need to make a dog now. Also, keep in mind, I'll try to like explain the V-pad on the top right as little as possible. The only thing I'll say is like exclamation mark stats, as you already know, it's gonna open up the stats, and I'll leave it to you to figure out it. Important part though is that hunger. Um, is I'll only explain hunger to you guys because like there was a lot of confusion. Is um. It's actually the opposite. Like 100 hunger means he's completely satiated, and minus hunger means like you know he's super fucking hungry. But like otherwise, I'm not gonna explain anything. I put a lot of like you know little fun things and interactions in there. Maybe even more than just like a Numemon. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But it's up to you guys to kind of figure that one out. Eh? In the meantime, I'm currently thinking what's like the best way to like go on about it. If I should just kind of. Um, like a little bot match here to like kind of like explain some things or if it's just uh bcgo category there we go tommy goxichi for the win hell yeah <laughs> all right hold on let me surrender against the bottom yeah i'm not really good at explanation but like hopefully um i just like, kind of make it make sense here I did put a war grain on deck here just for like enough practice sake. But like as you can see, I had to like rewrite like shoe a lot because like the censorship like you know got me like really fucking harder. Anyway, 
This entire sim here, by the way, is free to play. Like, I can drop the download link too. Like, it's complete. You can, and like, if you want, like, the best way to learn, honestly, there's, like, a 15-minute, like, you know, YouTube video explaining, like, all the basics in... Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's go with, like, some basic deck. Okay. <clears throat> is deck number three really censoring? Wait, is it actually? You know, one little thing to kind of... Um... I don't know, maybe I can put my thoughts together for a second. My brain is so fucking scrambled. Eh? Got that fucking ye yellow scramble in my brain because I didn't sleep enough. Bot matches are going to be like only against decks that you own. In my case, I really hope this little Agumon and Friends deck here is not going to get owned by like whatever the fuck it's going to be matched up against for my own, myself here. But first of all, we're going to draw five cards. See if we like them. No. So we're going to mulligan. You can only mulligan once. Alright, there we go. And it's like different like phases. Like, you know, it always starts with a draw phase. You draw one. As player one, you don't. But like afterwards, you like, keep, you keep doing that. And then like, you know, it's like... <clears throat> there's a breeding phase. Essentially, on the bottom left here, you see like that little egg deck over there? Um, What it do is you can either hatch one of like, you know, the four, you know, egg Digimon that you put in here. Or, if you were to evolve it, for example, you can only put it into the main field um, during, like, you know, any, like, breeding phase, like, next turn. If I were to, like, evolve this one into, like, Agamon now, um, only next turn I can actually, like, you know, set them on. Or I can, like, play it directly. It depends entirely, because, like, there's merits to it. Like, for example, everything in the area in the bottom left here is not affected by it, so you can, like, you know, raise over there, like, all you want. Um, can't wait to see the Central Mon deck and use against you, dude. I've had that plenty against Randos already. Life's a fuck. <clears throat> now, cards have like different cards on the top left. There's like, you know, three types of cards. There's uh, Tamers, which is like the people. I have not done like in my hand right now. There's auction cards, essentially just like, you know... <clears throat> Items, if you will, like, you know, other fancy effects that are neither Digimon nor people. And, of course, like, the Digimon themselves. Now, you don't... What you see in the center is, like, the memory bar. Like, you know, this, with, like, the funny numbers. Essentially, you start at zero. And if I play anything, it will, like, you know, gum, it will, like, move over that much. If I go over the one here, over to the opponent's side, the opponent will have five memory. Like, if I go over one, it's the opponent's turn. And they basically have that much memory to spend before, if they make it like, you know, to um, the funny left side, right here, it will like be my turn again. It's basically like a tug of war, essentially. Yeah, I like it because like, for the most part, with very few meta slave exceptions, um, it makes for like, a nice back and forth, rather than just like one person, like, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! style, you know, jerking themselves off. Mm -mm. And um, while well, you just like get to like do nothing. Also, wait, did I put no cooldown on the redeems? <laughs> wait a second, let me check that one. It's been. Hold on, did I put no cooldown? You motherfuckers. Let me check. Okay, no, there is a cooldown. Okay, cool. Who had me worried? Eh? Cool. Anyway. You know, Agumon would cost 3 to play, or under it, it would say Digivolve cost. Like, if from a level 2 black card, it would only cost 1 memory. However, it also says 0 from Kodomon. So we're gonna actually do that, so we don't spend memory, but we get to evolve. Unevolved, you get to draw again. <clears throat> I thought they're hard enough or lose Yu-Gi-Oh! True. Now let's see... Agumon X Antibody. X Antibody are actually kind of special in the case of like, if your Digimon has one, you have one in your deck, you can usually play them for like really cheap. In this case, like even for zero over, like, you know, Ag for some Agumon X Antibody over Agumon, Greymon X Antibody over Greymon, etc. Mm -hmm. Again, like all these like on evolution and on play effects um, do not play if it's in the breeding area. However, um, we don't want to like immediately like waste three. And I feel like the effects, like, you know, on play is obvious. That's an effect that only triggers when you, like, directly plop it on the field. On evolve is only, like, when it evolves here. 
Yeah, from like a red level 2 card, it will it could evolve from zero. Yeah, X antibody is essentially like a um, 0.5 stage of an evolution, exactly. We're gonna do that and get to draw another card because of evolution. Ooh, okay. And what I would claim is actually offense training. Now, in this case here, it has a main effect and a delay. What that means is like, um, the main effect is like what you get immediately. Delay means the card is gonna stay on the field and I get to like cause the other, the secondary effect um, on another turn, just not on the same turn. So again, reveal the top two cards of your deck and add one red card among them to your hand. And then return the, um, the rest of the bottom of the deck in any order, okay? And then we have, um, if I were to like pop it next turn or whatever, one of your Digimon may Digivolve into a red Digimon card in your hand. Um, for example, the evolution cost them reduced by two. So let's say I want my Agamon to be a Greymon. If I have this one on the field and use it like next turn or like later, I can essentially destroy the card from the field. And instead of like, you know, paying two, as it says here, it would, it would like kind of be free. Of course, like, you know, the higher the evolution level, as you can see here, the more expensive it gets. Like this one here is like basically a good way to kind of have a search and also have something for later. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's actually take um, Agamon X Antibody because we already have Greymon and... Yeah, we definitely need to like have another rookie there. Now, that's a card cost. The card cost too. Opponent got to memory. My opponent is a fucking moron. I fucking hate them. They just plop five memory. That means I have three now. However... Fucking moron, fucking bot. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <sighs> so let's actually do it here. Let's um, cause like the delay. So we're gonna choose a Digimon to evolve. Get ourselves our little Greymon. You know, only in the bot would like make such genius plays. It's true. <laughs> Bots be like, I'm playing Mega Zoo. It's true. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Um, what does DCGO um, show for him? Digimon card game online. Yeah. Again, now that we have a Greymon, we can like plop an N Greymon X antibody. Oh, and also really important. One thing you might notice. Lots of cards have like on the bottom an inherited effect. That means um, they don't have that effect yet. However, if they evolve... The, um, the card that, that gets put over, it gets the effect. Like, let's say um, this Greymon here has security attack plus one. We'll get to that in a second. Um, it doesn't actually do plus one security. Unless it evolves into something, then the inherited effect actually is part of the stack. Mm -mm. Now, speaking of like, security, you might like notice like the blue number five and the red number five on the top and bottom, respectively. What do you do at the very beginning after you are done... Taking your fa five cards in the hand. You also like them um, choose, uh, like, uh, um, not choose. The top five cards without looking at them of your deck. Get put, um, <clears throat> get put to the side, similar to like, you know, prize card and Pokemon. And those are like the cards where if you're, um, instead of like having life points, your opponents can attack you directly. And if they trash all five of your security cards and attack you directly, that's when it's over. Even playing without the Digi Egg um, deck, no, it's so important because it actually speeds up the game. You get to, like additional card draw, you get to like protect yourself from stuff. <clears throat> no, let's actually evolve in here. Okay, we have three memory. Um, is it actually worth it? Essentially, this one here, um, it costs zero, and what you can do is like attach it to. Um, a, um... Oh, dude, is it actually too late? That's actually kind of too late. I should have done it earlier. Never mind. Like, essentially, you can attach it to, like, one of your Digimon without X antibody and instead evolution cards is, um, in the stack. And then it would, like, gain another inherited from it. You have to keep track of it. Okay, you know what's actually sick? In the online simulator, you can just, like, right-click and then, like, see all the effects, right? Like, you see, like, the security attack plus one that I got from Greymon and the DP100 I get from here. If you play physically with someone, they, of course, um, make it so, like, they overlap the cards. So, like, all the inherited traits are, like, 
visible. So like um with like a little bit of, you know you should like not have to struggle and again like always asking is completely chill. Now we're gonna evolve Metal Greymon, which okay, there's like a step the blue thing is on the card. Like you know the alterance, you know, tells you when. Like in you know, the the purple, like in you know, specific, like in you know, a once per turn or like every time. And the orange keyword you see there, like the radium, there's a thing called keywords, right? You know, rate means um it's even like explained to you actually. You know, when you attack, you can even like switch your target to one of your opponent's Digimon. Um there's also like in you know, a blocker, which means um you can like protect yourself from like being directly attacked by the opponent. And it's kinda important to know because like normally I can only security attack. I can actually not select which Digimon of my opponent I can attack. Unless, you know, they have a blocker and like choose to block me from like, you know, directly attacking them. And again, there's like, you know, mechanics like um radar that kind of make it so we can like directly attack. <clears throat> I assume all turns just means it's always active if it's on the field. Exactly, yep. It's also like you know, only on your turn or your opponent's turn. Um should be pretty clear. Is this a full game? It's a full-on TCG, but online. <clears throat> and, and even it says here, when an attack target is switched, you may play one black or a tamer um, card um, with a play cost of um, four or less than we had without playing the cost, which is really good because we do have one tamer here. Tamers are really interesting because like they stay on the field um, and they tend to like, you know, have like, for example, this one here um, has the effect Either at the start of your main phase, which is like after the breeding phase, or on playing. One of your Digimon with Agumon or Greymon and then gets 1000 DP and gains blocker. So it's like hella nifty. And um, on your turn, when one of your Digimon evolves into a Digimon with Greymon or Omegamon's name, by suspending this tamer, basically putting it sideways, with, um, you gain one memory. Suspending is really um, um, important to keep in mind because like if you, you can only do it once return riding so like basically evolving him and getting like this free thing without like having to pay three for tying is actually all important and hell yeah i'm glad he started playing because of the, on the last digimon stream i hope you've been having a good time with that one probably like hmm. yeah, exactly blue is in the win purple like in the specific in, like in more specifics and orange are like keywords like blocker raid and all that eh? <clears throat> Wait, it says Alton. So if your opponent switches targets on their turn, can you activate that ability? Wait, no. Um, you mean, you mean the Taichi one, or which one do you mean? Or do you mean like um the Greymon one? Because I know apparently, once per turn, even on your opponent, when I attack target is switched, you can just apparently play one tamer. Hmm. Again, I have to admit, I know my own decks. I kind of got this deck here because it's like, a, I kind of figured, you know what, an Agumon deck might be a lot more beginner friendly. I, <laughs> like, I feel like a lot of my decks are actually a lot more, I don't want to be like, oh, it's so complicated, not just so in-depth, but I don't want to immediately like kind of explain the Abodomon token, them, or like fucking Machine Drum on, like, you know, as, <laughs> as an example. Anyway, so let's evolve him. Yes. All right. <clears throat> so if I actually were to like attack, switch over to the Kurisarimon, we can get a free. Uh, to, you know what, Tai Chi. Let's actually go ahead and do that. Eh? So we attack. Thanks to Kodamon, we get to draw one. Oh yeah, when there's like several abilities popping up, you can you can usually like you know, choose the order, which is um, really important. Oh, let's use Raiden. And. Let's try him here. And then, yes. Free Tai Chi. Machine Drummond is not pretty fucking forwarding. I do. And now we have Blocker. Which, um, if I'm... Okay, basically, if I attack, I'm suspended. That means this Digimon cannot attack. Like, it would be pretty... Fun. It would be a travesty. And now, here's the thing. I did mention you can just attack your opponent's Digimon. There's one exception. If they are suspended. Then you can attack a Digimon. It's the kind of, you know, make, like, um... It's a good way to, like, kind of keep, like, the balance. Because, like, if somebody attacks you... 
you know, it would be pretty unfair if you couldn't account like, the story there, Digimon. So I guess we're taking a risk reward kind of deal. Yeah, X antibody would have been insanely fucking clogged here. But it'd be, it'd be what it'd be. <clears throat> Alright, let's get ourselves the um the metal Greymon. Okay, basically I get security attack plus one. Every single Digimon by default hits for one security check. If I hit the opponent directly, that means we're gonna actually get to it like once we hit him. But like in this case, we're already at two, thanks to Greymon. And I guess in this case he would even get another one. <clears throat> Oh wait, no, it's even like explained here. There's one check one additional security card until the end of your opponent's turn. Ah, so it's only interesting. Okay, so it's only like on that turn. I wonder if it's is it worth doing that next turn? Can I mod drop the link? Hold on, let me I'll be the moderator. <clears throat> um actually no, don't I have a command for that? Hold on, let me see. I'm so prepared. <laughs> you know what? I think I'm gonna actually play this Agamon here. Give my opponent um three memory. It's like on play, I get to like reveal the top three cards and choose one card, like you know, either Greymon, Omega Mon. And one X antibody among my hand, which is pretty nifty to have. Hey, Shaker, thank you so much for the sub. Hello, appreciate it. Um, anyone? Anyway, we're gonna choose one regular Agumon. Ooh, okay, that's really good. Wait, no, wait, no, it has to be Greymon or Omega. No, I forgot he can't look for himself. When I say I don't know the stack very well, I actually fucking tricked myself here. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm used because like Gabumon can kind of grab himself, so I kind of applied that logic here. It's so sad because that one would have been really fucking good to have. Oh well. Um, I, I want to like attack with you. Hold on, we did pull something huge, but it's also really expensive. Wait, uh, the light and fang are. Agamon can grab Shine Grey Agamon, so what the fuck? And the, the artwork is all... I fucking love this game, man. It's so fucking sick. It has so much variation. I could, like, pop off over and over. About the... Um, card art, too. But anyway. Let's actually evolve for zero, so we can also, like, draw another card and get the effect for our Metal Greymon. Okay. And because we evolved, um, Taiji is gonna give us one... Perfect. And we even got a new Agumon, which is good because we can evolve from the, 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 the breeding area Digimon. Now let's see. Yeah, I might just want to like, you know, hit the opponent directly. Because like 3 security checks and 13,000 DP are pretty fucking huge. It sucks that we don't have a War Greymon at the moment. It actually fucking stings. You know what? Just fuck it, huh? Let's plop a Greymon over here. See if we can get him to like end the turn. No, it's over. R and R. When you flip over the other memory um, side, opponent gets the turn. What happens if you press end turn while it's the memory? You ba basically, it gives the opponent to always end the three. You could just go X with the X antibody. I came okay, let's actually do that then. <clears throat> There we go. I guess. I guess. Um, let's still the attack. Just we're not gonna have enough here. Okay. Pray that we survive the shit here. Alright. Throw one. And thanks to the X antibody I just attached. Basically what it does all turns. Effects can trash the X antibody here, which means like if somebody like were to like remove evolution cards from under it, which Blue Digimon can also do, but not just blue. <clears throat> or the Digimon can jump up into a Digimon card with X antibody and straight in hand for its evolution cost when attacking. That's actually incredibly nifty. I like, do I want to do that? We just got we just got War Greymon. 
We might actually still not want to do that because he doesn't have an inherited effect that's really worth it. You know what? Fine. Let's go for it. Then. Fuck it, we ball. No! And this is what it takes. Okay. My life is in fucking shambles, bro. <laughs> the way it works, even though we just kind of hit for three. Dude, okay. Bot, chill. I want to explain. Shh, shh, shh. Okay. The way it works, if you attack your opponent's security, if you hit a Digimon, but let's say, let's say my Metal Greymon was 7,000 hits, like, and, and they had, like, one of the, like, cards they got is, like, you know, Kodisarimon. I would destroy that card. Everything is good. Let's say they had, like, something stronger than me, like, with 10,000 and I have 5,000. The security um, card of the opponent would still be destroyed. Like, it would still be minus one. However, my Digimon would be destroyed. Now, Tamers, if you get one, like, for example, here at the bottom, you can read it, security, you can play this card without paying the cost. Like, you don't, you're not necessarily, like, you know, scam just because you didn't get a, um... Um, Digimon in your security deck. Or, sometimes options are really fucking mean because this one here has the effect the Digivolve 2 of your opponent's Digimon, which means it actually set me back by two stages, right? You know, between a trash after two cards on top of your opponent's Digimon. And I was really unlucky to hit that as security card because, like, again, most options have, like, you know, at the bottom, just like security either puts it in the owner's hands or, in this case, you activate this card's main effect. So, that's just like how quickly it can happen that, like, when you hit the other person's, like, security or, you know, they hit yours, that, you know, things can actually flip back big time. Yeah, some cards have a specific security effect, exactly. Alright, uh, the Okay, let's see, what can we do? <laughs> it's so fucking Jover, bro. And of course, you should, like, never count on it, because, like, you only have, like, five security cards, you, you never know which ones you're gonna actually have there, unless you, like, specifically play a yellow deck that's, like, all about, like, shuffling what's in there. Yeah, exactly, the player's life points are also a minefield, which also means, like, you know, as much as you can say, take all, like, your small Digimon and just kind of swing, you usually don't want to do that, and just, like, you know, wait until, like, a little bit more safe, so, like, you know, you can defend yourself. And also, like, you know, hit bigger. Again, um, your top five cards... Okay, before you even start, you have... You have 50 cards in your deck. That's not neg negligible at all. It has to be 50. And anywhere between, like, zero to five cards, additionally, for your egg deck. Um, and what you do... Egg deck aside, for, like, from those 50, you pull five cards. See if you like it, and then... Either keep them or mulligan ones. And then afterwards, you take, like, you know, the top five cards without looking at them and just, like, put them down as security checks, right? It's also cards that, like, you know, add or remove stuff from security. Exactly. <clears throat> now, what can we do? I think... Ooh. Okay, here's another fun keyword. Okay, there's actually two. I mean, we already know, right? That it can, like, actually directly attack Digimon that aren't, um, tapped to the side. We also have Reboot. Reboot makes it... Like, you know, you see, like, you know, on this Kodisarimon, that after it attacked, it, like, you know, stayed sideways. It's the only way you can, like, normally attack. Again, I, ca I can't attack that Infermon over there. I can only attack, like, the tapped one after it does it attack last turn. However, if you have rebooting, what it will do is that um, after my turn is over, not during the turn, but, like, after my turn is over, it will just, like no longer be suspended like it will send right it up again so it can't like immediately be hit by the opponent again incredibly nifty when it comes to <clears throat> not wanting to like you know lose it to um, big all right you know what it's yeah, somehow also like really funny um i feel like it's like one of the first like you know questions people ask it's like here it tells you you either pay four, like as you can see, okay, it costs 12 to like plop on the field. It's never going to be worth it, right? At least like with this card here. Or if you digital from like a level fiber, it costs four energy. However, it also has like in between, like you know, on the top of the text, digital three 
from level 5 with Metal Greymon in its name. Now, really important. Sometimes people are like, ooh, why would, if I can choose between like 3 or 4, why would I ever want to take more rather than less? Because, like, let's say, for example, um, I could now choose between like 2 or 3. It would be smart to go for 3 to like leave my opponent at 1 memory. I'm pretty sure it's like in you know, other cases like 2 where it's like potentially worth to like go for yeah, like you know the bigger number but like, this is like in the easiest example. Like if you, you ideally you want to like keep your opponent's memory as little as possible so because if I now like play something for 12 my opponent will have like 10 energy to like do whatever the fuck they want. Which in this case yeah, it's a fucking bot they they're not gonna do anything but like real players oof. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just slide my fucking hand down and I forgot I still have like <laughs> I still forgot I have like the stupid fucking clown nose on the desk. My life is over. <laughs> Cards! We love we love TCGs, bro. Anyway. You know what? Fuck it. This one is also like really fun. All turns when a card is removed from your opponent's um, security stack, gain one memory. You know what? Let's actually do one. Also, look when a card is an evolution cost that calls for a specific name, you can ignore the color requirement for the evolution. Oh yeah, that's also very true. You know the the bond one just like you know hard play a nine cost down card and pass the turn exactly. And now you see, here's something other. Let's say I have like security. Okay, no, I have security attack too. That means I check two cards. My opponent has two. I think it's only like reasonable to assume that um, if I now check for two, that I that I win. Or as you can see, it's still going actually. So wait, let me. Yeah, fine. Let me delete. Yeah. <clears throat> However. No matter what, even if you have like a plus six security attack, which usually doesn't happen easily, like it, it, oh, actually, it never happens easily. Um, even if we were to do that, the final hit has to always be a separate attack. Right? So like now my Agumon could do it here. <clears throat> what happens? Um, you play and the memory goes exactly to zero. Zero is fine. Like, you know, let's do it, like, right now. A zero is fine. But, like, if it's one or above, then it's the opponent's turn. Like, you know... <clears throat> so you still have, like, you know, some leeway. Anyway. I really hope I made, like, you know, a semblance of, like, sense here. There's, like, you know, still a lot more, like, little in-depth thingies here. Which, once again, I feel like watching somebody play... It's always going to like inherently make it seem a lot more complicated than it actually would be, right? Eh? Now, I still forgot I called myself Shoes Mad. <laughs> it's based on like fucking Hose Mad because I was losing my mind. I was losing my mind at the censorship, so I was like, hmm, what if though? <laughs> yeah, I was just like, you know, matching with like randos in that way, anyway. I'm gonna create a room if anyone wants to kind of like join here. Now, here's another fun mechanic that I prepared for today specifically. Or like, you know, it was also like there last time. You're gonna see it in a bit now. The only thing I'm gonna ask, like, if somebody here joins, um, please make sure like it's like similar enough to like your Twitch name so I know who you are. Can I already play and send another challenger as if they're my Digimon? I don't think that's how it works. Especially as the player redeem, it's not that you can play the game. Anyway, hold on. Get that. Okay, hold on. All right. Hey, okay, can you like do me a favor and type like anything in chat? I just want to you know show off like the funny functionality here. Like in the meantime, I can actually remove a few redeems that should have actually Bad not been. <laughs> so true <laughs> all right there you go i said to like gonna add a little bit of tts for like my opponent's messages only like during matches here and like with like the little anime ass fucking cut in so like if i'm like you are fourth rate player with a third rate deck or some shit right you can just like you know go ham on the shitting all right eh? and of course you don't have to it's just more like the functionality is there 
And let's see, did I remove? Okay, it's going notification. It's done. There we go. Fine. You know what? Fuck it, we bomb. You're the fourth rate mortal, the third rate shoe. You take that back right now. <laughs> My deck has no pathetic cards. As I did say, I wanted to like work on a queue system after the disaster that was like last time. However. I'll have you know I'm a third rate player with a second rate deck. Oh shit, let's go. <laughs> I wanted to work on a queue system and then I was like, nah, no way people are going to be interested. Bad nah. Gremlin. <laughs> Hit ready, you motherfucker. Yeah, but it's like, you know, play it by ear again or just like, you know, make up like one on the spot. There's after like, you know, like still um, space on like the bottom of the screen. Ooh, what an atrocious hand. Ooh, what the freak? These are... Ooh, wow. These are not swag Gucci. These are... It's no, it's no muy bueno. All right, then. Well, again. Okay. Yo... Oh, no. <laughs> I was excited, but then I realized... Oh. I feel like... I knew it. It's gonna be fucking Mastemon. It's gonna be fucking Mastemon again. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. It must be bad, she said, freak. Very true. Alright. You know what? Let's just go for it. Fuck it, we ball. Um, none of them are... I'm gonna be... Okay, nice. Okay, I'm glad my face was a good place. I'm gonna go for Arisa. So, if I have like two or less memory, set it to three. It's incredibly useful. Alright then. There's some other effects too, but we'll get to it when we get to it. Then. There you go. Angel demons are coming. Angel demons are coming. Dude, it's like the lesbian deck. If the... Um, Yole and... Um, mm. That I fucking hate her English name. And the um, yeah, he got he deck didn't exist. Now let me think. Um, na -na 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 -na. okay, that's jamming, which means it can't be destroyed if I now attack. Um, minus two thousand for the turn. That's not gonna be good enough. I also don't have a. Uh... Hmm. Okay, these all basically are going to do the same thing. I might actually ball. Attack because I have jamming. Whoa, minus 2000 be upon ye. Alright, hit a tamer so they get it for free. Okay, I actually wanna... It might play one Salomon or one of the Gatamon may Digimon. No fucking shot. Oh, thank god. <laughs> thank fucking god. <laughs> Um, and we're gonna actually use the effect from Chaparamon, which makes us play a level 3 puppet Digimon for free. We actually have a blocker on the field. Oh yeah, right, we can even give you... I hope we can give you a rush. You know what, sure. Rush means it can actually attack the same turn it um, was playing. And I guess for evolution and search, it's like, let's play one yeah, physical training. I'm not like on the thing we saw earlier. Just like, you know, search top two cards, take one yellow Digimon into the hand, the other one goes down. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Should I use overclock? Yes, actually, hold on. Because hold on, hold on, you know what that means? Overclock is the mechanic that at the end of my turn, by dealing one of my token or puppet trait Digimon, I get to like actually attack again. I just want to sneak check this archetype here. However, he has the on deletion effect. If I throw away a puppet Digimon from my hand, I get to like not only draw two. Also, remember, I do like minus 2000 on the opponent if I attack. Which means we can not only destroy this um, Tailmon over here. 
We also get to have some really great card draw. Alright, let's go for it. Eh? <laughs> Alright, perfect. Passive destruction, baby. This is why inherent stacking. This is fucking sick. It must have makes me actually think that on Thursday I had like one dude, the world's least lucky player I've ever seen. God bless his heart. I hope he has a nice day. But like he essentially lost six matches to me. Two rounds with uh, Renamon, two rounds Massimon, two rounds Imperial Dermon, which I didn't even think it was possible to lose. Man started trauma dumping on me on the fucking fifth match. <laughs> Just being sort of like, you know, no luck in my in life, in my love life, and everything. And now here, this is like the X amount of like match, like not only like here, but also in Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's just, oh, dude. I would hug you, but like, if you're like in your position, this would probably like only make things worse. <laughs> but like, you have to understand, man. He... I don't know if he's just like the worst fucking shuffler I've ever seen. But like you don't play Imperial Dermon and go three entire turns without a rookie. Or without an, you know, Imperial Dermon. So I was able to just go like la la la, you know, just like set up my board. While dude was just like constantly playing like, you know, champion level Digimon, which I just like kept deleting. While I was just like, you know, filling up the entire thing, which is anything I could. It, it's, it's, it's. It was not holy. I know I'm part of the problem. No, I don't plan on changing. Um, you know what? Oh, it's one that's done. It might be. Hold on, is this a memory tamer? Is this a memory tamer? No. Okay, they both give memory, but it's not like a guaranteed set to three. That's really good, huh? So I'm actually gonna go and use them, which means it lets me like play a level 3 Digimon and also draw one. Pray for good card draw. Oh, um, mm -hmm. I mean, it's not bad, don't get me wrong. Uh, sure, you can have Rush as a trader. Um, and I think we can even, like, as long as I don't get destroyed now, we can do the entire song and dance again. Which, I... Actually, no, we can, like, do it in one turn, even. You know, hit them with the... Um... <laughs> Oops. <laughs> the passive my two times minus two thousand. And I guess, um, to top... Ooh, actually... Um... Yeah, no, this actually only makes sense to do. Hold on. Playing a token on evolution instead of main turn means we should, like, get it out earlier rather than later. Alright. Behold! <laughs> Familiar. Um, who is... Also, uh, honestly, uh, do we delete Shumon? No, it's actually not. A... Yeah, it's actually no. Let's keep him for now. Get to have our other attack here. Gotta lose and learn from it and to get that. Yeah, it does show seven TV emotes. It's honestly hella nifty. Alright, you have five memories. I'm fucking praying for you, bro. Just anything. Another shot the plushies, um, Shadow, of course it does. <laughs> Even see like a little bit of bad trick over here. Alright, Angel Woman. Let's see. Hey, it's okay. By trashing top and bottom cut up here, it's security like one of you. Okay, you get minus six thousand to one of mine. Okay. You get to rec okay when a cut is removed from your security sack, if you have three of your you actually get to recovery, which means they put it back on. Hitting my familiar gave her minus 3000 DP for the turn. Like after the turn, it's gonna be like in a back to normal. Interdusting. Where are we gonna take it here? 
Ace cards are interesting because despite being stronger and having like low play cost and being essentially like, you know, hand traps over here, they also have the effect because they're just so easy to get out. They have the overflow effect on the bottom, which means if this card, you know, gets moved away from the battle area or, you know, <clears throat> run a card to another area, lose three memory, which means if I destroy it or put it back in the hand, put it under the deck or whatever, you know, I would get like, you know, a nice amount of memory. Now, I have to wonder, was there... Is there a Mustamon Ace that I don't know about? Why would you make this hyper-specific play? Um... There's probably one. If an Ace card moves under an egg in the breeding area, it doesn't trigger overflow. Is that intentional? You're telling me I can... You're telling me I can just go... You're telling me I can just like really go and put like a Duke Mon Ace, whatever, under the funny Royal Knight thing. Okay, now let me see. It can actually be incredibly fucking funny. Okay, so it's for Omega Ace and RK. Do you want me to... You know what? Sure. <laughs> when you may play one tamer card from your hand without paying the cost, then one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 5,000 DP for each of your tamers now. In order to make sure I don't get hand trapped, allow me to just be a fucking dickhead. Because I have trust issues from this deck and... You have retaliation, so you have to go. Man. I'm so fucking sorry, bro. To be fair, I cannot go for like another deck if this is like kind of a little bit too... A little bit too much. Alright, let's go. And no mercy. To be fair, Mastermind is like hella. If it works out, it works out. But boy, can it just go wrong. Alright, there we go. And if you want to go for like another round, I'm completely fine. Just uh... You know this one is a fun one. If you're... If you don't want to, I completely understand. No, nah, my hand was just kind of trash all game. Yeah. To be fair, I remember like just matching against randos and I saw you particularly, Cat. And you beat my ass. I think it was the Abodamon, so this is... <laughs> this is all fair now. <laughs> Oh, I don't. Put this one in another shot here. K -E -K -W. Yeah, we love breaking. Alright, let's give it down. Um, yes. <laughs> Dude, new one is already at 35 ham. I'm happy, that's pretty good, eh? Yeah, cats, um, on. Wait, cats on ice. Oh, I thought it was an L. I'm so fucking sorry. Uh, thank you so much for the sub, dude. Hello, That's appreciate Jamon, huh, no. All right. Ooh, what you doing? What you doing? What you doing, huh? You. <laughs> you are the cringes, Nene, baby of legend. Actually, no, it's not the SR part. I'm on way fine. Fine. So we got a little um, Kokomon. <laughs> All right. Um, might even go. Hmm. Let's go for like agility training first. See what we can get. Ooh, why? Sure. Okay. And play another one of you here. I love this fucking dipshits effect here. Oh, well, shit, the game. What is it in this game? It's a dick shadow on. No! 
why is that your first thought when there's like several other things that are in a similar format, man? Okay, what do you do? Bury him. When a Digimon will be deleted in battle by trashing the top card of your security stack, prevent that deletion. Okay. What now, huh? That's like, you know, you know, Jesus fucking self-reporting. Okay, for two other summary, you set your recipe. Look at your security stack where we want card and add it to your hand. If the card is yellowed and you can get recovery plus one, which means you just pull like the top card of your deck and just put it in there. Now let's do something really clunky. It's fucking Palmon. Set up your main phase. One of your opponent's Digimon gains all turns. When the Digimon becomes suspended, lose two memory until the end of their turn. Now we have two of those. You want to see something really fucking hilarious though? What if like, you know, Cat is like, I don't want my Digimon to be suspended. I'm not dumb enough to give my opponent four free memory. Mind if I introduce you to Palmon X antibody, which forces oh, wait, it. No. <laughs> uh. Okay, what, what do you gain here? You have to choose minus two memory or minus two memory. <laughs> this, is, this is actually the first deck I've made entirely myself, and I made it around the idea of like, how can I just be the worst person to ever fucking live? Um, I feel like almost like this is where my luck ends, and I wonder. How fucking funny this could be. Green deck always be suspending my SH. True. Hmm. You could either do shit again. Or not. Or just be really fucking funny. But unfortunately. Um. You know what? No. Let's be even funnier. One of the games is when a Digimon um, <clears throat> with under 5,000 DP goes to the bottom of the deck. And then we can actually evolve you into Leopardmon, which has a really funny effect when Digivolving. You may play one green or royal nitrate Digimon from your hand for, um, and for the cost. When it would be played by this effect, reduce the cost by four. And the best part, you can do it once per turn. And if you do so, everybody gains blocker. So let's go. Actually bring you. <laughs> Who has the effect, if you may suspend this Digimon to reveal top of the garden and can one green Digimon in your hand. And I might actually just like do that here. Just like a little bit of searching. Ah, uh, yo. All right. Perfect. And I think because they're gonna be like I'm sorry, memory no matter what. Playing one Mimi now is probably the smartest move. Okay. Yeah, no, this is Leopard Mode. The Digimon that has um, Leopard Mode according to Cyber Sleuth. To be fair, his Japanese name is like Doofmon. So, you know, when they translated that in, and like, I ended up going, like, you know, do some on uh, leopard mode. In. Going from, like, leopard mode, leopard mode feels really fucking stupid. In. Fine. I'm also, like, so fucking sorry because I drew so fucking well this time around. Oh, shit. That's your security stack when they develop into a digital card with the angel on them. Ooh, you're gonna go into Mega? And then shuffle your security stack. Ooh, you're gonna evolve this. Oh shit, Seraphimon. You get one more security stack and one a card is actually a security stack. One of your opponent Digimon gains minus 7,000 DP and it's Digimon gains security attack plus one for the turn. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Get yeah, the egg-shaped angel. That's fucking sick, okay. Who are you deleting?
that's what I I you know what sure let's actually repeat the move we did last turn then fourth and to suspend this is fine everything is fine <laughs> <clears throat> oh yeah, Togemon is really funny. When you play a green tamer from your hand, by suspending one of your green Digimon, reduce the cost by three. Which is hell on speed. However, just don't have any available. So I might actually bite the bullet and instead go for some Flamon for like cheaper evolution. Because like if it evolves into like a fairy or um, you know, trade Digimon, it will actually be cheaper. Okay. That way we can actually send out Lilymon. And reveal the top five cards of your deck at one level six or higher Digimon among to your hand. Yeah, no tame. Oh. Dude, what the fuck is that? An all antibody and no fucking sauce, bro. Now another fun play, since I can play another Digimon from hand. There we go, you are a little searcher. You know what, let's go for it. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's really good. That's also really good, though. We don't need Lilimon X antibody. But it just would be so fucking nice to have. Um. Meh. In two games, I've drawn zero level three Digimon BTW. Smiley face. I have to ask, what's the level spread like in your decks here? I'm sorry, I'm, I need to take seriously just this ponder. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's get him. All right. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking- My life is a fucking joke! I fucking hate when this shit happens, man! <laughs> man! Okay. It sucks, it sucks. It sure do. It sure fucking do. But you know what? It's time for one of my favorite trolls. Leopardmon X Antibody. You may play one. It's on Digivolution, which means you can technically like play two in one turn. Uh, from your hand with the cost of before. If I cut Leopardmon um, in the same or X Antibodies in um, Digimon's evolution, has reduced the cost further by three, which means you can have minus I think seven. My decks are over one fourth, just level three dudes, K E K W. Good. I'm so, so fucking sorry. But I also understand. So let's actually bring him on it. Mm hmm Okay. Uh, let's, let me think for a second. Um, uh, we still... There's actually technically no reason to... Be this fucking funny about it. Especially because it would end my turn. What? Let's bring out... Bring a Togemon. I like Togemon. And I don't want to have too many aces out in case there is a comeback here. However, the second effect. When one of your Digimon is played, you may return one of your opponent's 5,000 DP or lower to the hand. For each of your other Digimon, add 3,000 to the max DP this can choose. Do you see where I was going with this? Oh, bye. <laughs> this deck is hella counterable. But it's also incredibly made of bastard. All right. Yep. And oh, finally a tamer, dude. He's real. <laughs> That's actually crazy. Mm -mm. Alright, 
There we go. There we go. I'm so fucking sorry because I'm I keep like explaining shit. I know my turns like last a lot longer than they probably have like any fucking right to. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's like makes sense to do. I don't want to mindlessly swing either because I need what you can do at once as a trader. Alright, let's go. Is there a max hand size? Uh, no, but you can. However, if you deck out, you're, it's fucking over for you. I am taking advantage of the lack of turn time on life on stream. Again, I usually tend to be like a lot quicker, but like I wanted to like, kind of explain what it's I'm fine. doing. I've been through longer turns myself, TBH. Are you? The worst part is like when your opponent in random matches like takes like 20 minutes to like decide whether he wants to like <laughs> evolve or play one card, but it's like literally turn one or two. Oh shit! That's it. That's that's the shit that saved you. Then shit. Let's go. I've only had like a mono. This would have actually been been the goodest shit ever. Fine. Um. I think logic is can sometimes take so much time. It sure can. We can't actually end everything in this turn here. Let's play one. I also don't want to draw too much because my biggest fear right now is if I um, if I now take too long, there's a I don't want to deck out because I keep like drawing. That's like the exact like you know thing I want to go for with this deck is to just like have constant like card draw because I was tired of like never getting what the fuck I wanted. You know what? Let's actually hurry up, let's like kind of um, spam whatever the fuck we can get our swings in. We need to like be way more aggressive too. I've lost some like some really fucking what appeared to be one-sided matches too. Well... It's like decking out. It's, it makes me sad. Mm -hmm. Worst part is like when Hubers like really hits right now. Okay, there we go. We can like play another. Yep. I also really don't want to swing like any of the eggs, so I don't know why I. Actually, wait. I guess if I lose the. Huh. Okay, no, I guess if I lose the memory, it should now be fine. Anyway, how's the little Numen one doing? Ooh, barely. Mm-hmm. I know. Let's go. Dude, I keep forgetting that like Tiger is even in this game. And then I pull him for the dude who I put in there myself. I'm so fucking sorry for your lack of rookies, man. I know this deck has, like, hella potential because, like, funny holy angel deck is just, can be brutal in its, like, you know, own recovery. <coughs> I know Tom is, um, taking, um, um, I mean, can attack. However, I wanted to, like, keep the Palmon there because of the, um, a start of main phase, uh, minus two memory effect, just in case. <laughs> Like, don't worry, I am a witch. I literally did that earlier. You tried to 7DL deck, her head might actually explode. No, I fucking hate 7DL, just fundamentally. Yeah, Leopard Mon. Again, I built the entire thing around the premise of like, okay, how hard can we spam? How funny do we want to get him? Okay, what do you do? Yo, the double memory set to three, let's go. It's on a card game, unless a break is involved, that's very true. 
Oh, I just hit them with that one. And... Alright, hit it. Oh, blast. Okay, I was kind of expecting that. Let's see how detrimental is it going to be. Okay, if you have five of your security guards, your card is nice. One of your opponents, the one gets 1,000 for each card in your security. Okay, I'm so sorry, bro. Okay, what if like another blast evil though? That would be in come on, hit it. No way. <laughs> Karobi but my beloved. <laughs> you may play one green or yellow level four um, Digimon card from your hand without um, paying the cost, and then until the end of your opponent's turn, one of the Digimon gets minus four K for each of your other Digimon, so you can have one. Dude. Oh no no. Now would have been a good like fucking shine Greymon moment right there. Alright. And it nah. No fucking way! Hello? <laughs> Wait! Oh thank god, okay, it's turned okay. Okay, but like, there's no way you have another. Okay. <laughs> I... <laughs> he ain't here, no bell. Okay, that was hype as fuck. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> uh, three fucking blast evos. Three attacks. <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> Thanks so much, bro. And again, I'm so fucking sorry it went for you like that. I, I, I've i been there. It, it, I may not show it because I have the streamer like, on my side right now, but I, I've been there. <clears throat> you kind of mind switching it out in case like anyone else wants to join for a bit? Unless you really want that big revenge. Yeah, look at the new one. He's a little bit hungry. I'm a little bit concerned for him. However... However... He, he's also happy. There you go, look at him eat that uh, Minecraft steak. What's a time where you had 12 cards in the deck, and one security, and nothing you had to trash was your main level 6? Oh. Oh. This is why I love searchers that just like put shit to the bottom of the deck because that just means I know what I'm looking for is statistically like more likely to be closer. You would shit you said that happened to you. Understandable. What should you like all for it? Huge. It's a fuck every bomb. You want? Alright, if anyone wants to hop in, let's go. I'll go for now. I'll catch you in <laughs> randoms later. Smiley face. <laughs> all right. And then you're gonna get all your luck back, I swear. Okay, let me give uh, Doc the funny TTS now. It's your turn. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. But still, that, that triple... That triple... <laughs> Um, a thing was insane. All right, dog, you got the mic. Anything you want to tell? Anything you want to tell them, the people? All right, now. Anyone? No. Okay. <laughs> no, but you have the problem. Okay, never talk again. Never talk. You are forbidden from typing in chat until this match is over. Vomit Mado might be like a classic fucking image, but how fucking dare you? <laughs> Do you accept people who have no have zero idea what they're doing? Yes, of course. Alright, now let's see. Um yeah, nothing too great. 
Hold on. I tapped out somehow. Um, do we want you for... That's most cumbersome. I don't want to evolve you too early. Why? Fuck it. Let's go. Which region are you playing? Be good. Oh no 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 no! Not the Anglo man. All right. <coughs> Everyone for one. Are you fucking kidding me? Oops! All shoes. Okay. Finally, something that actually makes. Somewhat sense here. <laughs> no, you wouldn't use Demi Metamon for machine. Are you? I mean, I guess it makes sense, right? If you want that, you know, quickly sacrifice. Hmm. I like the constellation, actually. Yeah. I guess it really is the plan. And what else would you like to play Angleman for? This is a fat ass brick. <laughs> I hate that. Of course, Motoko accepts people who don't know what they're doing. She only sometimes knows what she's doing after all. I'm, I've gotten better. Not not perfect. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna, yeah, come on. Um, let's put you here because your armplate doesn't do shit. Okay. Oof. Okay. This doesn't make sense. So I guess what we should be doing because it's so cheap. Actually, get ourselves one item. Don't know what you're doing. Neither does the opponent. True. What is his head? <laughs> uh, I might actually do. You know what? This might actually be hella worth it. I'll get one draw. And the security is gonna have minus 6k. Yeah, okay. I would say so statistically. No, actually more, right? 3k. No, okay, that's only 6k. So. And the draw was fucking worthless. What the fuck is that? Another shoe. How? I've got an entire match that's not getting anything. We fucking go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I think the only one who knows what they're doing right now is the one living in the shoe. Look at his little my my little bro's face here. He's he's caring big time, okay? Come on, bro. I'm I'm crossing my fingers. Actually, did you throw away something this turn? Yeah, you did. Mega drama. Ooh! Alright, there we go. Who are you unevolving? What crimes are you gonna commit? Mm -hmm. Only two, eh? So it's like two, three. Mm -hmm. Okay, no four. Okay, we do have enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good luck unevolving my level fours, bro. No. Um, okay. This feels like a fucking joke. Hmm. We could be doing that, which is not a bad move. You still. Oh my fucking god. Eh? You know what? Let's go for it. Okay, which ones did you put under? My seven bond gained through my. Ooh, that's actually a really good metal grammar to put in there. Okay. Um. This Digimon is machine. Okay, delete one of your opponent's Digimon tamers with a cost of three or less. Digimon deletes an opponent's with Digimon battle and it gets only 3k in his turn. 
Okay, you see exactly. <laughs> Thunderhawk, you get it. However, <clears throat> hold on. We have another chance here. <laughs> this is a fucking ridiculous. Th no, this is the fucking beat. I mean, ST19 one. Are you kidding me? But wait, hold on. Um, you delete, but you don't unevolve, and you so far don't have eggs to do so. Um, we don't have the means to like be funny again. I think two might be enough though, because you. Ugh. Uh, you know what? I believe in fuckly ball. Yes, it does. However, my brain convinced me that this is gonna be like the funniest um, shit. Huh? Besides, now hear me out. Huh? We can now do that. Huh? Security attack. Actually, play another. Reduce this. <laughs> the attack on security it could possibly do. You're probably gonna redirect, and that's more than. F ah, shit, I should have actually destroyed a token. Why didn't I destroy a token? Oh well, doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, thank God. Eh? Alright, what now? <laughs> okay. No! No! It's not gonna be worth it though. I hate that the game basically tells my opponent. I hate that the game literally tells my opponent, hey, did you know? <laughs> you know what your opponent has in hand? Do you, do you want to know what they have in their hand? Yeah, it's not here, we're just kind of like playing it by ear here. But it is worth the will, not the uh, last element. But a nice security attack, minus one. Also, wait, no, the ex-antibody, was the, that was the security card, right? Oh. oh, I would kill myself. Oh, <laughs> did you forget? <laughs> there we go. Alright, then. Hit it. Oh, wait, no, you don't get to put anything under it just, you know? Okay. Mm hmm The Digivolve. I'm completely fine with these kind of terms here. Shoo! Yep, Rayboon. Oh, you do. Do you? Ah, the second Angloman! Okay. Hmm, yeah, no. You know what? Let's hit him. Give him the boot, damn right. Eh? Hit them with the funny. Yep. <clears throat> oh, wait. Ah, oh, the counts. I did not consider for a second that it actually counts. You fucking sicko. <coughs> Never mind. I'm a fool. I know it's still not going to be enough. Wait, I'm in. Hmm. Yeah, we still got it. This is kind of disgusting. I'd even go as far as to say, even though he doesn't have additional security checks. Even if he hits what two, he has only a baby and there's no way he's gonna get... There is a way he can get something with Rush. Even then... I'm... 
going to ball. Which it's not going to be. Uh, I'm gonna be working. At least I somewhat showed the Maki Nedra style. You did, huh? Or I guess since you only have like two Anglo men. Actually, no, what am I doing? What am I worrying for? I fully convinced myself it's Joe Burp instead of just like, you know, fucking swinging here. I know I appreciate you like showing funny Mugendra. I was gonna say, I. I'm so used to like seeing like Mugendra with like, you know, even more. Ah, uh, okay, wait. Oh God, the ne don't do that again. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> We're still fine. Just don't do it again. Okay, so sheer fucking spam. Woo! Okay. We're so bad. It's not every day you have 500 Digimon on board. Baby I don't. Beat down real. <laughs> How the fuck did I get 5 million Chumon? <laughs> Alright. Mm -hmm. But another match, I'm ultra down. If not, it's hella chill. But I know the baby beat down is hella real. Mm -mm. Dumped to death. Literally one giant kill dozer versus a bunch of mice and shoe just like not. I can do one more before I gotta eat. That's actually perfect because I wanted to like take a break. Um I wanted to take a break. Actually, you know what? Let's go. I mean, like, after this match here. Okay. <laughs> Women in their shoes. Okay, please pray. This is in my probably worst deck when it comes to, like, getting what the fuck I want. <clears throat> oh, okay. Why am I first? I don't want to be first. Thugs. Okay. Uh, Tamer or... You know what? <clears throat> Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. Ooh. I think we want to like actually have her out early. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, did huh? They actually meant to like have predictions, and now it's kind of too late. You know what? I know JC is here, like any moderator, but I feel like that stuff would be good to have. <clears throat> okay. Red and purple Imperial Dramon. That's who wins, yeah, exactly. And what if I sample all of the infinity infinity tens and hell yeah. Okay, um I raise my Renamon. Lament my fucking life. Okay, come on. Blech! Yeah, 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 you're so funny. Come on. What the? I don't want to. <coughs> I feel like if I play another. It, this deck just shits itself, but I like it because I like pluck and spam so much. It's okay. It's still too early. It's not over till it's over. Ignore the fact that we're facing literally Imperial Dramon. <clears throat> Fuck my life, plucking S. Uh, okay. More imp. Okay, more Vimon. Please. 
Please. Holy fucking shit. What the fuck? Yo! Okay, we're still fucking back. Um, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't have another one of her. Okay, okay. <clears throat> And you only have like analog youth, okay? If things go right, it might be good. <coughs> Should actually use the other dorm one. Oh well. Yeah, because then I could have actually. Oh. Yeah. Now, even then, it actually wouldn't have made sense. Well. Alright, bring forth the Shade Ramons. Bring forth the. Okay, flame drum on. You either made it evolve on a mama purple. Oh no, you might didn't. Ah, there it is. Okay, you're gonna evolve. Yep, bring forth whatever you got in DNA to jump up them. Return back your memory. Fuck my life up. Because you have the you can't made it. No, no, what? What? Oh no. Okay, the theme was no, the theme was playing, bro. Could you have not done that, or...? Right on cue! I was robbed. What ha- did, did the prompt not show, or what was- what was going on? Did you not have one? It's like you had everything rolling, and then it just stopped, eh? Do you have any of you have an undulation effect? Uh, not really. Wait, 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 I'm gonna tell you. Ooh. Wait, this might actually be gonna. Okay, we're gonna. Perfect. Digivolve you. Avoid retaliation, which, if I were to, like, direct attack it, would just fucking ruin me. Because, like, it's gonna destroy the opponent no matter what. By just minus DP. And as for the option. Um. You know what? One free option. We're gonna do the same thing to Flame Drum on two. Card slash, baby! Actually, it wasn't even needed. I forgot I got like all these fucking minus CP effects here. Nice. Okay, now what do we do? Turn the situation around. God knows for how long. Um, is there a time limit on turns or can I do some proofreading? You are absolutely allowed to do some proofreading. Do not sweat it ever, okay? Like, as long as it's not, like, over five minutes per turn. Like, as long as, like, things are happening, right? Without, like, you know, like, five minutes per, you know, action, I think we're fine. Let's see. If you wanna actually... Here. Yeah. Let's keep our memory up here. Besides... Free... Break plockets, it's gonna be hella fucking hype. Let's go. Mm -hmm. I know. I forgot how fucking dramatic the fucking purple Imperial Drummond cards are. Like, look at the fucking tongue. Out, coming out of a chest. That shit's so fucking disgusting. I I love it, eh? Like, this is not how you usually see that fucker. So saying 4 minutes and 50 seconds per turn is okay. I will tap my feet a little bit, but I genuinely think that everybody who wants to learn, you know, should have like an all the time. They want, ooh, you wanna delete? No. Then I'm okay, trash your hand, then it's okay. Ah, so you're gonna, you can get your Shade Ramon back and next turn get to memory. That's pretty good. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Um, which of them is. Which one is Prison that? Hike. 
It was a cough, but thank you. Let's actually straight up go for it. And we can... You know what? Straight up go for it. Yep. One... What? I guess the reboot might be nifty. What's that kind of too late? Yeah. Yeah, okay, no, it's too late. Let's actually use like, um, no. Alright, let's give her one more security attack. Fuck it, we ball. Yippee! God, I fucking love the effect stacking. Like, I'm kind of like working on like getting this deck together, um, IRL. However, thanks to a wonderful concept called this, like, waifu tags, getting, like, Sakyamon, a Sakyamon, like, in the, yeah, mate mode, actually at a reasonable price, plus, like, you know, everything else I need, it's just, it's not the worst the TCG has it in that regard, but it's still so, it's, it's so fucking annoying, man. Yeah, it doesn't really, you know what, fuck it, we bomb. Bring forth you. Um. Oh, actually, yes. One high speed plugin coming right up. That way, I don't have to worry. Okay, it's kind of worthless. Okay, perfect. Let's go. Oh, I didn't have to worry anyway. And I guess for the sake of it, let's have a blocker. Yippee! Your last element is so fucking hype. Love to see it. Huh? It's a shame. I feel like the I, I love Frontier, but the ending... The ending had me so fucked up. Also, what, did, what did you guys do to like make Inumimon lose so much happiness? Hyperspeed Evolution is like way too good of a song considering how much they actually ruined. How much they actually just like fucked up the ending. You're telling me we have like, you know, half a dozen protagonists and only two. Only two actually get to um, do anything. He hates us. I added like a lot of like you know, little cues for like the Numemon as to like what he does and doesn't like. And I just wish I could like outright tell you because you guys keep doing something silly that makes him unhappy and nobody pays attention to him. You just... It is hella wasted potential and unfortunately Digimon did that eh? for pretty much the first two seasons and for Frontier before they finally got the shit together with um, Tamers and Sabers. Yeah, the lack of a real Digimon partner was a turn off for you. That's fair. I felt like that initially too, but it's just like way too sick. It's also a curious to know what's up with the ending I keep mentioning. I'm sorry, episode um, 30. Yeah, no, I really, <clears throat> I really do. I don't know. Okay. I really do wish I could just like talk, talk about, but just, just in case, right? I don't want to like, completely spoil it. All right, nice. Also, what did you try to do? You tried to suspend my Sakuyamon or what happened here? Like the card. Oh yeah, it's suspend, okay. Dude, I talk about... What the fuck do you want? Delete Digimon and Blitz, okay. <laughs> yeah, dude! We went from like la 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 to just like comp... Wait, eh? Did it say which one to not delete? Eh? Oh, 
Oh my god, the text told me delete one Digimon, so I was like, yeah, yes, of course. Oh my fucking god, I gotta kill myself. Oh, there were too many cards at once, so my brain was like, ah, oh, I got you the first time too. Understandable. This is actual. Oh, no, no, no. How do you give up and lead that fucking big bro? No. <laughs> No, Sakiamon could have buried that actually. And it was immune to like opponent's effects. Actually, no, why didn't uh, barrier activate him? Never mind. I guess because I chose for it to happen. And that's why it was like that, huh? God damn! Okay. <laughs> no. I think there's actually something we can do to salvage the situation. And not specifically. Let's see. Or can we even? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, perfect. Let's first hit them with this here. Um. Double check. Okay, you literally only have peers and nothing else for me to worry about. Him. All right, time for Matrix Evolution, baby. Um, okay. Yep. Bucket we stack. And then. Mm hmm. Wait. Does she not count? Am I just fooling myself? Oh no! How embarrassing! <laughs> no! <laughs> she doesn't count! Does it call for specifically Sakiaman? Uh, I. You know what? You know what happened? I am used to Kuzuhamon. I'm asked to Kuzuhamon, which gets treated as Sakuyamon, so my brain was like, oh, of course Sakuyamon made more is also Sakuyamon, it makes sense. <gasps> oh, <no. laughs> oh, how embarrassing. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Sash. <laughs> it's okay, I can still salvage it, actually. It still worked out in my favor, believe it or not. Because, um, hold on. This is kind of whatever. Let's hit him with that. Yep. Hit them with that. Just trust the plan for a second. There's a reason why I chose these specific sources. It, that human was only part of the plan. Like, I'll still get horribly owned, but I don't want to see this fucking kill those are right in front of me. Okay, perfect. Don't care. Um, yeah, okay, now we can actually, the plugin that we just played goes into security. So we have one more. Now we can use Blast Fire. And even though... Yes, 13,000 with like 4,000 to reduce. If we play this one, it, it's gonna pretend like his original DP were 3,000. Meaning that, bye bye Now, of course, again, you do have your stupid fucking partition bullshit. Which means you can just like play two champions from... There we go. Open get. I should have maybe evolved before I played that. Okay, let's see. Do you get... Another memory. Yep. I still can't I could have kept my Sakuya on That would have been so much huger. Oh well. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> no. Here's the funniest part. Here's the part where everything fucking ends. Because I don't have a Kube. 
I ain't got no kube. No cubage, mon. <laughs> All right, kill me. Yeah, for did one on the field. I'm, I was just happy I was able to pull something. <laughs> All right. Hit it big. No cubic stage. I'm telling you, if I had the one kube, everything would have been different. Probably not. Eh? But I could have dreamt. I'm curious to also see what you think you're doing here. I'm just stacking up before. If I catch your DNA, you're evolving, I'm gonna kill you. It's like I don't see any. No. Sounds pretty nice. I don't think Kuzamon, it's a matter of like it not being good enough anymore, but like I built this deck. Like I threw the shit together, literally. Um, right. I guess like that's by definition my first real deck, but I also took a lot of inspiration. And because I really didn't, I have never like really sat down and thought, hmm, do I want Kuzamon in there? Okay. It's gonna do fucking nothing. Assuming they're gonna jog or as anything here, it's just hella not worth it, okay? Fuck you. I was supposed to for BT19. Did you check out, um. I did check it out, and I'm incredibly curious. Rather, I did check it out on surface level. I want to, like, really just, like, sit down at some point and just, um. see what I can do about it. And, okay, there it is. My. Finally, a loss. <laughs> because, like, the Talmon Ace, it seemed not bad. Uh, I gotta check out the Mika Mode Ace. I've actually pre... I've actually... I've actually, like, asked a friend like, to, like, maybe like, get me one of those here. Um, What really gets me, though, Aces are nice, but you know what would also be nice? Better search. Uh, Rookie needs to like you know kind of get like three different type of like cards in there and and it's just so you feel like a fucking god if shit works out but god damn but no doc thank you so much for the match and hell yeah that was Ivan Swag GG thanks for the games I fucking love how it went from like you know blah 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 arrogance blah 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 hey hey I'm winning to like looks away for a second. Why is there an Imperial Dramon on the field? I was just talking about Frontier. <laughs> mm -mm. Anyway. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and take away Dog's Rider to talk in TTS. Fuck you. Hold on. And I'm gonna take a break. And I think after that break. I was sweating when I had no Dino slash Pale. I can, I can imagine, man. Anyway, then I'm gonna take a break, the usual 20 minutes, and then once we're back, we're gonna um, we're gonna definitely get do some more Digimon matches. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah. Good. Now it works. Boom. All right, then we're so fucking back. All right, hop on DCGO. Let's go. First come, first serve. <clears throat> now, one little thing. Notice the thing on the new one screen. Pay attention to that. That's what clean is for. All right, he's not dead. No, no, I actually paused it and I gave him like some bonus happiness to like make up for it. Eh? All right, gonna wait for you to select your deck. Like nobody can tell in advance and then counter pick. Oh, so wait, Hatchman, is that your that's your Twitch name, right? Yeah? Hold on, let me see. E Chipman. Yep, okay, cool. I'm gonna give you the funny TTS. Whether you use it or not is completely up to you. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm fucking dog shit at names, but like there we go. Now you can now you can have your <clears throat> 
All right, can we have a prepare, uh, prediction on like who who's gonna win, who's gonna lose? Now let's go. Um, you know what? Keep hand. I'm afraid I'm only getting getting something even more dog shitting. Uh, this is not optimal by any means. But I guess it will do. Oh no, it's a Baymon deck. Not racist, just don't like him. <laughs> That's good. I mean, oh wait, no, it's all force. I forgot you're the all force player. Never mind, you're based actually. You're the only Baymon player who I will match against and be like, wow, this isn't complete and utter dog shitting. Okay, never mind. Life actually worked out for me. Nice. Let's get you. Play one of you. You know, I actually played all four just like um, earlier. And wow, what a nice selection. And honestly, it's really good. Huh? All four is hell yeah. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's play one Kyoshido. And that should be it. Huh? I'm gonna be sad about the good team and being $40 still to get to you, don't fucking remind me. I was considering getting the starter deck, but man. Alright, blue versus blue. How bad could it be? Alright, one Davis. That's the memory tamer. And the on play lets you get some shit. Okay, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Draw one. Now let's see. Hmm. Most unforged, but I actually think this is more than alright too. It's a shame I don't have the right one. You know what? Okay, let's grab ourselves some memory. First draw one. And then we're gonna throw away one card with... It doesn't have to have Jellymon in the name, but it's more advantageous that we do so, because then we get one more mem. There we go. Uh, the double memory tamer. And let's see what you're getting. You look at this, like, fucking sick card! I like that. Dude. I love it. Like, Megatramon is such a hype fucking Digimon. Like, anything with, like, a metal face plate in me. Oh, do you know? <laughs> you play Paladin Ace. I mean, it makes sense, right? You would be, like, silly not to do so, but god damn it. Um. You know what? Fuck it, we ball. Uh, yep. And I guess I don't need a second one of these. That way. We can unsuspend you and unsuspend him. Get two memory from that. And even more hype. We can actually. Yeah, we're not gonna get like more mem. Mm -mm. Yes, more. A more draw. Okay, the blowjob brothers, eh? Hey? And yeah, we're not gonna get a free one anytime soon. So I guess it would only make sense to evolve her. And play one of these bad boys, so that way we can actually get jamming. Okay, <clears throat> I'm fine with these here. The, the VTM manga is so hype. I remember like reading that like way back in middle school. And being like hyper obsessed with like, you know, the Tai Chi there. Blue versus blue could not be worse than yellow versus yellow. Yeah, my hand is so brick. Oh, dude, no. <laughs> That's the worst. <clears throat> Let me tell you right now, I feel like not mirror matches necessarily, but like same color matches are like usually some of the most miserable shit ever. Blue is like, you get no evolution, guys. No, you get none. Or like yellow. 
I recover. No, I recover and to reduce your DP. No, I reduce your DP. And it just like goes on and on. Like, you know, black and black. It's just like you devolve. But I wanted to devolve you. Now I can't do it anymore. Yes, the beta manga giving Edamon like a biker jacket goes hard as fuck. Alright. Praying for you. I mean, you have a Vedramon. There we go. It might be a little bit too late for that one. Okay, now let's see. Shit's actually looking pretty swag, Gucci, if you ask me. Let's evolve you. Ooh, I want you. I can't have you. Uh, I guess if we do that now and throw one jello away. Wait, actually, Kiyoshiro is gonna fucking handle that. Huh? Nice. Gonna get some jamming too. All tamers, no mons, yep, and you kinda need them. Uh, yeah, I have to get rid of you. Sorry. Boy. Nice, okay. Jamming wasn't even needed. Yeah, I guess it would only make sense, right? Mm hmm. And then we can do that now. Dude! <laughs> what the fuck is that? Nice. Now, which of them is better? Let's see. Yeah. You know what? You cast four, you go back. That's probably like a good free playing. I should have also, like, you no know, attack in advance, like, you no. Know, but now it's too late. And now we can actually get really funny. As if we do that, huh? Get security attack plus one. And then now we pray that nothing fucking eats me. Okay, nice. Nice, okay. <clears throat> that way I can get memory tamer and end it exactly at three. Woo! Now let's see. Sending out Baymon. Sending out Vedermon. Okay. That's not gonna be happening, is it? No, I don't know why. I swear this place is a shuffle, but like every time there's an Imperial drum on, or like not Imperial, but like any like anything with DNA Evo. <clears throat> it just it just fucking happens, man. Wait, actually, let me... Let me read this one again. Does it only affect the ones on the... Here? Or is it like a general all-turn thing? I actually have no idea about Ice Wall. But I do know that I can be insanely fucking mean. Oopsie. There go your evolution card and... Oh. Yeah. I'm so fucking sorry. I got way too lucky. All turn. Okay. So, like, no matter who attacks, it's gonna be, like, minus two. <clears throat> yeah, it's Vader Ramon, not Imperial Ramon. But, like, it's still, it's still somewhat topical. I kind of wish, like, Stingmon had, like, a more better deck on his own. I want a bunch of Stingmon to, like, get something nice. And, um, not to say that it's over. All I'm saying is, if you do want... If you do want a rematch, I'm completely fine with it. Eh? Mm -mm. Dude, I fucking love seeing, like, you know, BT1, BT2, BT3, like, stuff is still be relevant. Considering, um, I also, like, play BT2 and Kedam on here. Dude, a bunch of set would be so sick. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. 
I'm gonna definitely switch out the X though. And it's gonna be like one prediction in... Four. Done. Not sure if we have JC here, but I definitely wanted to... Hold on. Fine. I'll do it myself. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna start a new one. I'm giving you guys like two minutes here. Occupied by bot thing, dude. Don't sweat it, okay? You know what? It's time for one of my favorite decks. I need like more savers OST actually in my in my stuff. So what is this hand? It's not miserable. Like it's doable and I can probably Eh. Mm -hmm. Fuck it, we ball? It could have actually only gone better, but... Not to be a superstitious person, but I genuinely do believe. Bad luck would have befallen me if I... If I mulliganed here. <clears throat> oh shit, someone, hi. Yeah, they were onto something with like EX5, um, Bunch of Leo Mania for sure. Alright. Co. <laughs> and Sayo. Let's go. No, dude. Okay. I knew it. I knew it wasn't the right belief to actually. Let's go. Nice. Okay. Um. Only now have I seen that one of my decks has fecal censored in its name LUL. Wait, huh? Oh, wait, you named it that um, intentionally, I suppose. Yeah, no, I had that too. Did I had a name, I had a deck name called Speed. You may fucking guess. You may absolutely fucking guess that what it got censored to. That's right. S, asterisk, 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 D. Also. Bad hand again in a heavy combo deck. No! Come on, you got it, you got it, you got it. Come on, come pray, pray, pray. Eat that rookie, you need to like top deck, you're gonna get everything. Come on. Okay, that does down now. Solid. That's top decky win condition. Dude, top decking has saved my ass more than I'd like to admit him. We the third pig! Our house made a break! That's... Hold on, I'm gonna pin that. <laughs> That's good. Okay. One memory. Immediately expanding that memory. Because we're gonna turn our Masado. Or I'm sorry. <clears throat> Marcus Damon. Into then. Play into here. See. Ya. Fuck you. Minus 1000 DP. This will show you. Yep. And that way, Digiball, our little Agumon. See if we can maybe clutch out another... Nope. Okay. Eh. Mm. Eh. Mm. I eh. Bye. But I don't think this is where it ends, actually. You're not a... Yeah, okay, that's a memory tamer. That's actually perfect. That means we can actually get him. Get a memory tamer ourselves. Um, yeah, it makes the most sense really to do it like that. Okay, no cost reduction, just ball. Dude, five heavy. Ooh. Uh, why would I want to do that now? I guess, I, no, that's actually good. Hold on. That's exactly enough even. 
here. Let's go. Mm -hmm. We're gaming. We're gaming, gaming. Ah, oh, just one memory, bro. <laughs> oh well. Shit, I should have actually cast reduce then. I it didn't didn't consider this all through. Womp. For next time. Okay, knowing what the security stack is can be useful in itself. Oh, absolutely. No doubts about it. <laughs> Actually, wait. Is there off Volca Hidari? Um. All right. Do you grab your stuff? Yes, there is. Okay, we're gonna looping this one here. I'm an SVR savers mood. All right. Gonna get ourselves. Oh, this could be huge, actually. That's not really enough for this one. Okay. You got to pick up your order for EX7 tomorrow. Let's go. You know, I'm currently like building up my Sen Sendermon, and I, I know I couldn't be more excited, man. Yeah, this ain't good. Actually, do we ball? We ball! Yeah, baby. Then we double ball. And we're gonna grab us that dude. Really? What the fuck is that? The triple argument. I mean, at least like, we don't have to like pull them anymore. And then... No, oh, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. Not really. Then why did I do it? God knows my brain is currently scattered. Oh well. That's a waste. Like I even thought I'm not gonna do it, but then like my brain went into like autopilot mode. Yeah, let's go for it. Now what? <laughs> Uh, maybe it's still worth it, actually. Is that way we can get... Uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, no. It's gonna work out. Adding shelter to your demon lord deck, you're evil. You're actually evil. Like, I've seen so many shotos in, like, deck where they shouldn't be, and it's just, like... I get it. He's too good not to use. But, like, there's something about just, like, seeing, like, fucking Mother Deer Reaper just getting blocker on, like, decks where you just, like, don't have the DP because, like, you're relying on, like, any other method. I don't know. I don't like that shoto. It's, like, literally working with, like, everything else. It's so bad. It's so fucking bad. I'm not gonna lose with this BGM, don't worry. Yeah, this is um, his effect to be Vortex only, but it doesn't matter because, like, the other one is just too good. Eh? Dude, no King Drazil. Yeah, she's not even funny. Yeah, Mega Rush is horrifying. It is horrifying. I hate it. Let's do a live update on the card and limited to Vortex Bird, please. I thought Magnamon was like the peak of cancer, and I actually still stand by what I'm saying. I think if you play Magnamon, you should be shot. Nothing against you personally, just don't like him. <laughs> like, never have I seen such cancer. Way too easy to play. Absolutely nothing you can... I mean, I guess he can be like, you know, fucking blocked out, but like, if he just don't have... If he gets it out too early, it's fucking over. Okay, interesting. Hello. Dude, I fucking love Crescimon. It's so fucking pretty. They could have at least made it locked to liberate the cards getting locked. I know. That should have been that should have been the play. Actually, wait.
while we wait, huh? Yes, there's there's um going going my soul instrumental. I need to like, add these to my playlist. That's not off vocal. That's just off. <laughs> oh, dude, Luchimon is gonna be fucking sick. Yeah, baby! Wait, so Fagamon can get like perma immunity? Fuck my life. And DCG at least. For each of the Demon Mama, wait, wait, what did they do? For each of the Demon Mama, I've tried something with the Demon Mama, okay, then until the end of the Demon Mama, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, interesting. Bye. Unfortunately, not enough to carry this here. Oh, does the music too loud or does it work? Okay. <clears throat> The question is, do we... You know what? I see no reason to. Oh wait, because you have no digivolution? It's because it's treated as no fucking shot that actually worked. I, I read the entire with no digivolution cards, can't suspend. I don't know why I thought Master was above it. Eh? That was just straight up one way to the energy. Oh <laughs> uh, shit. Um, do you have anything that could, like... Okay. Hmm. Ooh. Okay. How about we go for it, then? How about we just say, fuck it, we ball? Nice. Uh, let's see. Um, mm -hmm. okay, perfect. Let's bring him on. It's at a good level. Okay, thank God. Let's suspend him, get our memory back. Yeah, baby. All right, one draw. Of course, now you're here. Fucking disgusting. Uh, I mean... No... That would've been so good... Hmm... Boy, do I wish I could do something about this shit here. I don't know. You gonna block? You gonna block that? And yeah, ban again, thank you so much. Woohoo! I got cocky! I got so close, I was like, oh, you're gonna block that house, stupid idiot. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, you know what? <laughs> of course, you have something with over 11k. Are you winning? We're gonna find out if I'm winning very soon. Ooh, that's such an anti Masato deck. That's actually crazy. All right. No. Fuck, I'm gonna play it again. The brain connection is in the machine, I mean. It's. One is fine. Yeah, but Bandai doesn't roll out ban lists often, but like when they do. It's usually. At least like from what I've seen, like during my time playing, it seems kinda reasonable. What? How, how, how could you do that? Ah. Dude, Mugendra just fucks. <laughs> okay. Now we're getting in. Dude, great snowball time? Yeah, there he is. Let me see, what does it do again? 
Um, did I not the home? Okay. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> they don't ban cards enough because of sales. That has Konami. That has never stopped Konami. Not that I'm not saying they should do that, mind you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. There's Flaremon. Oh no! Oh no, no, no! Alright, fair. I feel like the rest is not gonna stay for very long, too. Ah, uh, shit. Good stop shuffling. This deck makes my brain hurt. <laughs> Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Demons are coming, demons are coming, demons are coming. <laughs> this thought she had her entire life ahead of her. Nah, -uh, not like that. The Grace Nobemon is coming. Alright, there it is. And now DNA able to nice memory management too. Alright then. Ooh, you're gonna attack twice, I assume. It's a good deck plus two and jamming and hello. Finish. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Goodbye, your ice cream on. There it is. Oh, physical training. They better come with some nice things when they're jamming. I'm, I'm hearing some nice tunes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God. What a sick fucking deck. And then by sick, I mean, yeah, there it is. On. No. Agumon! Wake up! Yeah, I'm so fucking cooked next turn. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. We'll see how it goes. What do the Nimmon stats look like? Okay. You're gonna pull another, yeah. Keeping a second Digimon up was definitely in the play. Okay. Unfortunately, unfortunately for me, that's kind of where it ends. <coughs> yeah, it's the main effect, not the unplay. There is no reason to digivolve now. I could have like maybe played on Kodamon and fucking prayed him. Yeah, everything is else like on Digivolve. Oh, maybe.
You know what? Let's pray. Okay. Interdesting. Uh, this is doable. You watch, hold on. I don't think it's actually doable, but you know, we can try. That should give us a one memory. And as much as I like stacking up DP, I DP minus, I don't. Okay. <clears throat> Wait. Wait, no, it's not enough. I should have gone for one that attacks, actually. I threw. Mom, I threw up. Oh, actually... Wait, huh? 3,000... That's not... Yeah, I think that could work, too. Do you have any... Uh, I should have gone for the other Masaru, but I don't think they would have given memory. Yep. So actually, no, it was a good play. It was a good play. I would have thrown if I didn't choose the extra memory. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, this is gonna hurt so bad. But it only makes sense. All right. Ouch. Let's get another... Yeah, it's out of the turn, right? No, it's on play. Okay. Ooh! Yeah, no, it's actually not an official client. Hold on. Let's hit it. You have all the memory in the world. Nice play. Yeah, I had to like scramble like whatever I had on my brain left over for this one. <laughs> ah. However, I do think you, again you just need one hit. Huh? Anything which rush. I think pretty sure you have something in your deck that could give you a rush. Now it's a question if you have it, huh? Okay. Yeah, 57 heavenly for Numamon. Maybe we can even make it today. See what happens if it reaches 100. Eh? Okay. Card draw. Mm hmm. Like, this has so much shuffle. 14 hand cards, 16 in deck. Come on, I believe in you. One hit, bro. Hell yeah, I'm glad you enjoyed the setup. That's exactly why I love TCGs, bro. This shit is like... <laughs> the shit is so high. We're both in sudden death territory. Either he's gonna take me down this turn, or I'm gonna take him down next turn. Assuming, however, that he doesn't clear my board, then maybe it's gonna, it's gonna fall out, but like, either way. How did Imperial not um, obliterate Machine Draw? Because Machine Draw actually has... Uh, depends. If he can take it down with the ace, but like shuffling everything under it. I don't know. Like machine drags can be really nasty with like putting in something under it. And by something, it could be anything. Also like attack of the, or like <clears throat> the entire play and the machine drum on if destroyed him. Getting five memory back, that shit's nasty. I'm not planning on going, I cannot go longer than five and a half hours. I do literally have a local today. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Denim. 
What did you take in your hand? Hold on. Like this one, okay. Dude, I hope so too, but like I'm still working on like my stronger deck, so that like I'm missing two key cards for Jellymon, so my only options are either my Shumon Godra combo, which to be fair, I do think it's very competent. I just wish I had like the um, EX7 cards I really wanted to like build the um, Sandermon I ultimate in DCGO. And I do have an Angoramon deck, or rather, I almost have an Angoramon deck. The issue being, um, I do, I am missing three Erodis that I. Somebody told me they're gonna give me at the local, but I, you know, I always have a thought in my head. I cannot guarantee it, let alone can I actually know for sure if I, like, even want to play it, because that's very good. I'm on this borderline unplayable. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Not enough to delete, come on. Wait, do you have a deck of all three ghost game Digimon? Blue, green, and red in one. What are you playing? Okay, two memory. Ooh, is he gonna turn it around? Like, I'd also like, there's something I like playing locally. I feel like that I really enjoy. Next, like, people who just kind of, like, you know, buy, like, the uber meta, like, you know, fuck, go fuck yourself decks, like, you know, bring bring the Magnus, bring the Imperial Dermons. Are people who, like, because they're not violet in boots, just, like, have to, like, actually make do of what they have. That shit I really love. That's why I like the Thursday meetups, right? Where they just kind of, um, like, have, like, friendlies without, like, you know, needing to, like, uber win. Oh, it's ever one deck for each of them. Gotcha. You know, I again, I want to play Jellymon really bad. That's one of my fa top three favorite decks. But Angoramon, which I really enjoy, but goddamn, why do you have no good support? Why is your best support in Airdramon? I mean, I know why. Ghost Game Day, my beloved. Whereas, like, Galamon, I haven't even tried yet. I got so intimidated when I saw, like, everything you have to do for it now. But I might have to, like, sit down someday and practice. I'm really lucky with EX6 and bought a golden Ogudamon. Dude! Is it good? Like, is it actually good for like a 7DL or like anything on its own? I actually have no idea. I didn't quite look at these. I looked at the new little, I looked at the little one and I was like, yep, that's nice. Yeah, I know you need Ogudamon for like 7DL, but like, is it like as good or like maybe even like better as like the previous one, I mean? It's end once out, huh? Yeah, but like, does it have the same, exact same effects as like the pre-EX7 one? It's my question. I know it's a key card. I know it's the win condition. But like, yeah, I don't what I can do, lol. I've never reached this point in a match. Hell yeah. <laughs> Dude. You know what? I'm extremely flattered by that, huh? <laughs> Wait, did we not have Ogudamon before EX7? Oh, let's see. Alright. Now. Mm. Let's use only one. All right. If I may. That's like, as my last bit of like safety in case you like, I don't know if you have like any ace or whatever. Oopsie. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Dying gray on time, baby.
And of course... Yipping! Dude, that was so clutch! <laughs> ah! Thank you so much for the matches here. It was an excellent match. GG. And <laughs> GG. Alright, Zaza, you wanna hop on since you're gonna eat since they gotta sleep? Alright, I already set up the uh, TTS for you. Mm -hmm. Not on. Um, where's this cotton? And. And safe. I mean, it's also like, um, uh, here, funny, go say who, who I wanna match, but like for now. What am I delete seven Digimon? Yeah, and then can touch at seven security while attacking. I have a few decks I want to use, but it depends on your deck. No. No, it doesn't. I don't want you to. Okay, do, is it actually that important? I am specifically always waiting for the other person to do so they cannot counterpick because I think it's kind of gay. You can tell me what deck to bring if you really want to test something. Go pick Shuman. <laughs> Alright. Should you, however, want the round two, we're not gonna do that. Anymore. Smiley face. If I know exactly, I know exactly, and what it's weak to, but I, I have to like find Trust out. Me. Yeah. <laughs> All turns delete Shumon. <laughs> Can I make a mistake on the last one? No. Okay, tell me what could it? What was the idea? Birthmos Ace caught you off guard. Yeah, no, dude. I had to, like, seriously, like, scrunch up whatever I had in my brain. I nearly gave up until I realized, wait, I can, like, clutch the memory. That was good shit right there. Also, wait, let me... I can stop playing, like, the um, birth mode theme. Hold on. There you go. Let's go back here. Yeah, let's do it like that. So what's your epic shoe mod counter? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, three musketeers. Okay. I see we're doing it Laura accurate. Okay, hold on. If that's the case, then let me... Give me like one second here. Digimon Liberator. There we go. Then bring it. Okay, so now... Interesting. Hell yeah, I am. Oh, wait, is it an off vocal? I wonder. Probably not. No, of course not. Oh, you know what? Fair enough. Never mind. Then we're going back. Um. There's an, wait, there's an English version? I didn't even know it actually had one. That's really cool. Man, I'm just extremely excited. It's been so long. I always loved TCG since I was a kid, but like, do you know how fucking hard it is to like... When you've been like kind of jaded seeing your favorites kind of go down the drain, like finally finding something? Wait. I'm gonna be real, I thought for a second this was just gibberish. My brain was like, this is not Japanese and it doesn't sound English. English, you couldn't, they could never make me hate you. <laughs> I fucking love being ESL. Alright, watch this card. Mm -hmm. Oh, retaliation, huh? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Nice, but you're playing. Oh shit, okay. Okay. You want to get rid of that quick, quick, huh? Interesting. I agree to these terms. I wonder if my trust here is misplaced or not because I don't want it to like You know what? Let's see We could be a little bit funny Get a little bit Mm-hmm There you go. You put the sucker away. Okay. You can jump with you haven't fought another player yet and you don't want to get your nearby out sanity on stream. Dude, I completely feel like, yeah, understand. If, if you're not comfortable with it, then don't sweat it, but I can always like bring something much more tame. Camera. Thank you so much for the reset, I'll appreciate it. Okay. Interesting. Swinging around. You guys, your name is like Bird Up. I'm really curious about your Bird Up. Alright, let's see. Memory Tamer and. Ah, okay. That's why you. Okay. Then let's bring forth a Chapramon, who in return is gonna let me play one Shumon. Shumon lets me look for a Liberator and for a Puppin. Ah, do I want a Chair of Rush? Let me actually decide after. Probably. Probably yes, actually. Ooh. Hmm. We can have both, right? Is it trading? Yeah, you know what? Why not? Oh, yeah, the shadows were just like such a random ass thing. Uh, I don't trust any aces because I'm pretty sure. Wait, uh, no, Bill someone is level 6, right? Uh, what could you possibly have? Yeah, you know what? Mm-hmm. Okay, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. One overclock. You go away. I want security attack coming right up. But first, you don't play, but I'm not sure how long you can stay awake. It's completely fair. Let's stack the DP minus. And there he goes. Let's go. I believe in my Shumon. All right. I fucking love Laura carried battles, man. Except when I play Omega Mon as the Abode one, then my day is fucking ruined. Mm hmm. Uh huh. That's a, it's just a memory game. Does it have any other. Like, they must have a purpose, right? I don't. 
Neumon dying? Wait, why? I don't think anyone like, really took care of him in a while. But, like, maybe like people left his poop on him. I actually... If he died and I didn't pay attention, it would be like the funniest shit. I don't think he hit the condition, but like he does, also does an auto reset. He will never see the other things I programmed for him. It's over. I have to like rebalance him, but I don't. I, mean, I don't want to make it too easy, but I also don't want to make it too hard. All right, I agree with you, Sam. He just turned into an egg. What killed him? Did he starve? Did he poop and stuff? What? He doesn't do it randomly. Did a few more streams. I'm so sad. Do you know how much work I put into my pixel art? Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. Mm hmm Okay. Hmm. I wonder... I want to believe. I'm going to put all my trust. <laughs> it just fucking works. Alright. And I don't think you have any protection for that, do you? It's going to be minus four, dude. I don't like that laugh. Goodbye. And now it's my turn again. <sighs> okay. Gonna. Hmm, I think when I evolve here, it only makes sense, really. Okay. That's one big threat taken care of. With all the effort, just to forget that we are, in fact, still darts. But I. Man. I might still like genuinely have to like, make it easier. Okay. And they're gonna pick another Bale Star or are you gonna pick the X antibody? Not curious actually. Okay, just rearranged. So oh Magna Kidman. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Interdasting. Okay. Mm-hmm. Why is no one Laura can eat his own poop? That would be freaked up. Okay. We have a few options here. Hmm. Hidden. Nice. Yep. Activate the search. Okay. <clears throat> I was putting everything onto that. Okay. <laughs> nice. Anyone? Sure. I forgot I can just take both. Okay. Then, sure, why not? So, if we do that, you get DP minus. However, that's not the end of it. I'm gonna risk my poor little Digimon 
But in return, I'm gonna make sure you don't get your silly little mega on. There we go. One draw. Nice, really good draw. Okay, that was actually worth it. And... The memory tamer, right? Yeah, it is. So I think we can actually just like play her. <laughs> I to be fair, the Nilamon, the Vipet Nilamon is like out there. Ooh, wow, the hard play. Interesting. Anyway, the Nilamon here is kind of um, all about. Mm-hmm. Eating that meat that you guys feed them? Why would he... Please tell me you get rush. Like, please make it worth your effort. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Interesting. Do you have nothing? <laughs> okay. So we have options, actually. Yep. Yep. Um. Let's remove your chance at attacking my security. You're not touching that. Sure. Okay. That way, we still remain on neutral. Bye bye. <laughs> Alright, and I'd say that's a trade hmm. That's a trade Yeah. Let's go. Is your play going to like make me deck out or some shit? Okay. Uh huh, okay. By trashing Mama, okay. Uh mm huh. -hmm. You really want to keep that there, don't you? Not like I have a lot of choice. Exactly one sword. Let me think for a second. I don't like being put into a position where I have to think. I think this makes the most sense. Yep. Yep. I'm not satisfied with that play though. At all. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's go.
Interesting. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Okay. We on two. Mm-hmm. Did you trash your no you didn't? Mm-hmm. This is gonna be a permanent mainstay with a zero one. I think it's a one time thing. Yep, it's over. Should have gone for this year last turn instead of that. Oh, huh? you can't just do that. <laughs> Why can you stack them? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's really silly. The deal star eggs is um, bugged right now. What does that mean? Oh, you're not supposed to be able to do that? Oh, that's gay. That's really gay then. Okay. I just discovered it myself, lol. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do we have any reliable mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Okay. Oh, this could come in real handy. Okay, let me. I need to like seriously, like you know, think for a second. Oh, my mom. Make you that. There is a way. You don't have to do. You. Um, the best. Any disability? Not go. Don't know how this option card. Doing QA live on stream. Yep. <clears throat> that means if we play you, then then let's. Unfortunately, we could still only come on it. Back from you, the security and not that. Uh, so bothersome that I can't use that I should have done that. But I guess if I destroy. Bring forth. 
Yeah, don't, I think it's pretty much over. Um... Yep. Yep. Yep, that doesn't that's not what I want. Wait, huh? Huh? Why not? Wait, why the fuck did that not go through? GG. Over overclock? Dude, I did all this fucking preparation for one specific thing. Why did overclock not trigger? GG. Oh, it can actually overcome uh wait, it can't overcome summoning sickness. Gotcha, gotcha. Alright. <clears throat> Yeah, it's not Vortex. Gotcha, gotcha. Do you have any fun junk decks to use against my junk? Sure. Alright. There we go. After review the bank, please play Send Ramon, please shelter Ramon. Uh, I got some fun junk. Okay, you select your... Oops. No! Hold on. Hop in again. I didn't mean to leave here. Can I play? We still got this um, second deck Zaza match because like, so far it's been like two for everybody. Oh, no, so we don't have that much time left, right? Eh? You want no ghosty? Hold on. <laughs> You've been waiting since the very beginning. Not piss off Zazu. <laughs> we don't. I just looked at the time. We really don't have much time until I actually have to fuck off. You'll be here next time. I. It's it's gonna be yeah. like in a month. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be next month. Are you sure about that? Eh? But if not, there's always like the Discord where we like regularly. I'm glad that people like you know who we're smart enough. You're patient, okay? Never mind. That's what can stay. All right. Funny junk. Um, yeah, I got junk. I mean, I would consider it junk. It's definitely not meta by any means. Thanks, Ghosty. You're playing Frontier? Hell yeah. Ah, I'm first, right? This wouldn't be a good... No. Not the worst. I'll keep. Well, I bet you we're sitting here for a month. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Pull out uh, this bad girl. Pull it up by... Ooh, actually, actually, actually. Do I want that? Do I want that? Do I want to? Do I want to? Yes, I do. Go. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. I'm telling you, I need this song earlier. It just didn't play. It's over. Dude, I fucking love this one, Yamon. It looks so fucking round. No, it's all. Oh, wait. Are you playing like Funny Stonebird? No? What are you doing? Oh, the NSP bullshit. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. Then let's go... You... I'm also gonna immediately... Do this here? Ooh, how much I wanted that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's actually be funny. You, go back to the bottom of your deck. There you go. Let's go, Lily Montclair. Mm 
Now what you got here? Got some on blocker. Okay, evolves into Gekemon. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to see what the level 5 could do if you have one. Yep, okay. Interesting. I'm more than fine with that, actually. Nice. Okay, now we're praying for that. Uh, okay. Mm hmm. I technically don't need that, and this would be insanely funny. But also costly. You know what? Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. You go back again. The second only on play. Yep. Bye bye. And we don't end here. We're gonna get ourselves you. Play. Oh, nice. Okay. Get ourselves one free Togemon. And blocker. Let's go. <clears throat> Duffmo, my beloved. Oh, see, I fucking love that emoting. Alright, lose to memory until you're okay. That's completely fair. Mm hmm. If you did, you want DNA to want to okay. It's almost like no. Okay. Dude, Elodotimon is fucking sick. I what's Frontier word actually what's writing? I think there's someone out there who pronounces like Togemon like Doge. Dogemon? Okay. Um let's hit you with that. Huh? Let's Hmm. Play you from hand. Play you or you? It kind of doesn't matter. Alright. Everybody be getting blocker. But this is not where it ends. Because if we do that, huh? Yep. Perfect, okay. Getting ourselves you. Mm -hmm. Play another Sanflomon. That however means we can actually send your Eldorimon back to hand. Nice. And let's see. The thing that would make the most sense now is to get myself free Tiger. Is she winning? I think I might be. We'll see. Um, yeah, it's only on attack and not on suspend. We should be fine. Besides, no, I don't have any card. That... Oh wait, no, there we go. There is a memory. No, I don't have a Rosemon in this deck. Why would I? This ain't about her. <laughs> it's all about my man. I saw him because I used him in my Angoramon deck. I was like, I need to like build something around that. Eh? We're gonna get ourselves a free Mimi. Or like almost free Mimi, sorry. Mm -hmm. There you go. And now. I feel like it only would make sense at this point to. You know what? Get ourselves a very nice. um. One memory for the opponent. One search for us here. Do you know I love Mimi the most? She is so fucking good. Ah, eh? oh, actually, do it like that. There. Okay. Now. Jank deck BTW. 
I consider this one incredibly jank, but I can bring something even more. If you want to like quit right now, mate, want me to bring even more jank? I'm completely fine with it. Huh? Keep in mind what sure. you what you called jank in the past was incredibly was incredibly fucking meta. You know what? Fine. Here. This one is nothing but jank. He wins. This is a tactical we both agree on this year. Then okay. Well, let's do this here. This one is absolutely. If this one wins, I'm gonna bring it to the local today. I don't care. Okay. Interesting. Yo, congrats on the warrior Lin. Let me get ourselves an evolution. Okay, do either of you... No, of course not. That would have been too easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it like that. Let's see what we get. Please give me... No! Mm. Yeah, fuck it. This is gonna be a risky play, but I think I'd rather have him ready than not him. There you go. What you guys having dot 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 for? What's up here? Oh, because of the Numemon? Wait, no, he didn't even... No, he did that earlier. Also, did you happen? It's been I've had a great time. I had some really good. Eh? I had some really, really good. Oh, eh? uh, matches earlier. Now let's see. Ooh, get come on. I guess it really must be the jamming then that they're after. That's getting a level four for like four k. Yep, Jagamon. Mm hmm. All right, now let's see. Let's make the most of this here. Um. All right, two memory. Gonna evolve into Shimbara Angoramon. Reduce the cost even further. Nice. This Angoramon deck is kind of cute. It's incredibly cute, right? Like, have you seen... I mean, I, look at that Bosamon. And hold on, there was... It's like one Angoramon eating a burger that I really enjoy. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is what we're gonna do. I need you to go. So we're gonna suspend you. If this kills me, I swear to God. Eh? Well, boy. I think we like back to like three memory. In an Angoramon edit of Big Chungus. Oh, hell no. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Alright, let's see. What can we do? Um, ah, oh, shit. I should have actually gone for that. And this is actually perfect. Hold on. Let's do that. Unsuspend my boy. Gotta keep him safe. And there we go. Now we got a memory tamer. And the Angoramon deck basically became like the basis of like that um, deck you saw earlier. Mm -hmm. Okay. So once again, just pulling stuff. I'm pretty sure Eldorarimon is just... I, I really want to know what he can DNA Digivolve into. Like, what is your... Save a Leomon is... Huh? Mm hmm What the fuck is that? I'm 
Ah, uh, yes, my mild jack. Dude, how the fuck? You only called my previous deck too strong and you're a jank? <laughs> because you were. <laughs> because you didn't get your uber combo out. Eh? Yeah, I was also like thinking it's a midget from Zelda. No, please bring your baby deck. Okay, fine. This one here, I don't even think this one could go to like 15,000 if it tried, man. Alright, let's see. Well, it is what it is after all. Let's see, do you have anything on attack? Jamming. Um, one of you... Are you fucking kidding me? Okay, I don't even think it's funny anymore. One of your pawns Digimon gets minus 7,000 for, for each of your Digimon. But, oh, I'm bringing my small Uwu. Can, can you please restart the previous match? Please, I, I just don't... I just don't think it's very fair. Got it. This combo is really inconsistent. A mediocre deck with great potential. Yeah? <laughs> I did accept, not gonna lie. But I will still call you a bitch for that one. Oh, you think mine doesn't really have like you know a super obvious fucking weak point? Fair L U L. Okay. It's one of your Angramon's bottom. It's not gonna happen. No crying now. I'm not as much crying. It's just like fucking bewildered. Alright. Let's go! Hit it. This is the part where you win, right? Mm hmm? You will let it. Ooh la la, fancy emotions. They have taught the artist how to feel and express. It's fucking over for you guys. <laughs> Just you wait. Why do you goggles with your eyes are always closed? They're not though. Now you're just being an asshole, goddamn. Alright. Yo, three Rudy. Non search with left nothing. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. My next one is pretty much too late, but it doesn't matter. Man will literally passively do 21,000. That means no matter what I play, it's gonna die. Next turn, I'm pretty much dead. Uh, Let's see. Nothing. You know what? Oh, thank God. Ah, oh, beautiful. Okay. <laughs> now we're good. For now. Not now already. Nope. <laughs> is it gonna be the easiest 7k of your life? Well, sucks to fucking suck, don't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, none of your damage can attack targets can change. Okay, that's interesting. Are you fucking kidding me? All right, let's go. Let's send him out, see what we can do. Uh, he does have jamming, it doesn't matter. That's the only... There's no unsuspended data. Hmm.
Ugh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's make it free. I winning son? Realistically, no. But let's see. I'll try to make the most of it here. Um. Yeah, it's gonna get piercing, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. Mm-hmm. Let's see. This is going nowhere. Attack and pray. Oh. Mm hmm. Okay, what now? Gay. <laughs> That's so gay. <laughs> Yep. Don't think you just embedded them on a little detail and try to say it's really cool, right? Eh? Alright. I don't think there's anything we can do. We don't have any more giant missiles. GG. We got another opponent here. Alright, let me GG. All right, there we go. And prediction for Gnome. This deck is another Mega and BABT18. Oh, hell yeah. All right. First come, first serve, whoever wants to. Yeah, hallelujah, how's it going? <clears throat> Let me just give you the funny. This is my first win on that deck. Yeah, because he fucking kept begging, can I please have an easy deck? <laughs> can I please have something? Let's see, where is, uh, Hallelujah, do you have any special? He has been booed one time too many, nah. Hold on. How do you? Okay, it's 790. Yeah, and... Let's go for... There. Okay. Uh huh. Let's start a new prediction and we're gonna go with. There. Okay, it's like a good deck. I'm gonna go with. You know what? I have not played this one at all today. Let's go. What's the change, Dex? Yeah, after you kept Mac whining, bro. <laughs> And now both are McWanning and nobody's happy. Oh, uh, let's keep. Okay. Something more fitting to the mat here. We have them play on easy mode. That's not completely up to you. Oh shit, you okay, there is a rock one. I was looking. I was thinking it was gonna be early. Fucking sick ass deck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, let's bring you here. You here. Let's see what we might find. And... Uh, okay. And in return, one of those. Okay. Looks all dragons featuring Uckermans. Mm, yummy. I don't like how it pronounces Ukamon, I'll be real. Look at him. I'll be real. Up until I watched the movie first, I was like, wow, for Ukemon. That's so unfair. I, you know what? I feel so sorry this happened to you. Followed up by like actually. Um, um, playing the card game and being like, wow, everything, everything here, I would have done too. Let's see. 
At least like, they restricted him now, so it's not nearly as atrocious. You know what? Let's go big. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna regret that. Eh? Okay, that's gonna be a two. He wish Ukumon was blind. Why would he say that? Eh? No, you won't regret that at all. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I know you're a good player, so I find it very suspicious Smile. that you like throwing something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is. Ooh, okay. Let's see. Ah! <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, wait, but you're not gonna play it, right? Eh? That can't be. Ah! Bullshit! <laughs> All right, time to die, I guess. No, that's good. That's good. Hmm. Of course, I don't help you. Okay. Oh, Any second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I. 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 Uh. 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 Ah, oh, it's not gonna do anything, is it now? It's on attacking? Wait. Am I safe? Too expensive. Uh, 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 mm. Fuck it, we bomb. Yes. Yes. Oh god. It's okay, it's okay. Everything is gonna be digestible big time. Just gonna hit them with one of these. And oops. I lied. I forgot him. I forgot it has a play cost of eight. I was like, nah, I'm not gonna reach enough and well, then I LOL. <laughs> Good play though. Like he got rid of like the good Diabodamon. Okay. Made the card draw actually save you here. Do you guys like my Diabodemon token? I plan on like actually no, printing that as a proxy. Oh, We got so far. <laughs> I will break. If I ever finish my Diabodemon deck, I promise you with my entire heart, I'll actually get in. Actually, I haven't showed you guys like the funny Sendramon token. Hold on a second. I posted a picture. Actually, mind if I can look it up for one second here? Um, shouldn't take too long. Where did, where did I put it? There, okay. I did just kind of for Thursday go and print myself a bunch of these here as token. And honestly, it just goes insanely hard. Eh? There. <laughs> Whoa, minus 3000 DP be upon ye. Okay, now let's see. Uh, <laughs> what do you do? Okay. Ah, oh, that was a D digital. That's what you wear. Hey, you know what would be really funny? <laughs> Thanks for the for two free token. WTF.
Bye bye. Alright. Get another. No, what do we do? You know what? And now we swing and pray that nothing in the security can ruin my day. Hey, that rhymed. Oh, no, no, no. At least give me 10 memory to compensate SMH. Nah. <laughs> you know what? Hmm. Here you go. <laughs> now she has no mercy. Listen here, I threw, I threw to for Zazu. I'm not gonna do it again. Enough throwing for today. Hey, who are you again? I know you. Okay. Uh, the Where are my three and four costs, Badatangi? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, <clears throat> with a level three and four shade throat. Oh, boy, I have way out of level three and fours. Are you fucking kidding me? Stop doing that. <laughs> Besides, wait a second. I am a fucking do it again. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 Wait, oh wait, no, we're fine. We're fine. I forgot I played that kid. I'm, on, I'm a fucking genius. I knew this was gonna happen. Oh, my fuck. entire life. <laughs> I thought you got to delete all my tokens. Oh my god, thank you, kid. I'm on. Woo. <laughs> Alright. Hmm. This is fine. Yeah, it's fine. I agree. Let's see, do we have any... I don't know, okay. Do you have a level 7? Level 7? Oh, you... Nah, eh, eh, what? Oh... Okay. Did that help you? <laughs> okay, insecurity we trust, come on. May no. you get something good here. Yeah, I saw like that it stopped for... Ooh. Okay. I saw that stop for a second and I was expecting the worst. Woo! Alright. And that would be it now. Okay, what the fuck were the predictions? Dude. What did 11 people think I was gonna lose this one? Motherfuckers see me like try to like accommodate someone once and think that I suddenly can't play anymore. Alright, I got time for a sub 17 minute match. Who here thinks? Well, you want, I'm not gonna like ask a room full of men that can know who the fuck here last at least time. Who here thinks they're not gonna stall? Hunter, get the fuck out. I seen you play last time and you took one hour. You took one hour playing your fucking dipshit deck. <laughs> it's not Gavamon. Alright now. I swear to god. Okay, but like no matter what I do, I will have to leave. You have like seven minutes. I did say 5 30. I'm willing to like make leeway until like 3 p.m. But then like I have literally half an hour to leave. Um, nah, 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 nah. why am I first? Okay, fine. Wait, no, I hit Mulligan. I threw. I threw already. I hit Mulligan out of like sheer. I just wanted the dragons to work bad. It's sad. No, I get you. The dragon deck is actually really fucking sick. I'm not gonna be late now. Because I am drawing a harsh one and I don't need more than half an hour, hour to get ready because I already spent all my break. Ugh, making my hair all pretty. Alright. Mm -hmm. 
with the search uh, no okay mm -hmm. okay let's see if we can turn it around yo easy okay also didn't swap the chat to hand to bad at popo oh yeah oh, <laughs> hold on let me do that right now oops there you go Oh, no. Right. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. And let's have another search, why not? Nice and nice. Okay. Let's go. You do one is such a meme deck, but I also like really like it. I mean, look at like Patrick next to me. Ain't that cute? No, Shuman! You're just a little boy! <laughs> Shuman! Okay. One to stomp, it didn't do anything. <laughs> it would have let me like you know play a level three puppet, but I didn't have any more in my hand. Mm. Okay. Oh. No Schumann! <laughs> Again! <laughs> when will it end? <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Let's go with that. Huh? Nice. Okay. Mhm. Mm and uh, we're gonna take revenge. It's okay. Ushimon into Chapramon. That's gonna be an easy. Which one do we want to get rid of here? Actually, you. What am I doing? What am I thinking of here? There you go. We're gonna... Attack. And then... Now it's time. One familiar token. And I will actually not use overclock. There you go. Okay. As much as it would have made sense here, I just feel like there will be better use cases for it in the future. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Uh... Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and this is exactly why I kept him here. Okay. Then we can even play another Schumann. I hear the Crimson Mode Ace. I really do. Yeah, man, just played it for the full price. Mm hmm. No. What do we do? What? We have so much to choose from. Oh. Oh. Okay, I thought I selected it. Nice, okay. Mm hmm Which would then lead to... That, huh? Not quite what I'm after. You know what? Fuck it, ball. I want to believe. Okay, wait, 11 minutes. I need to, like, actually hurry the fuck up here. Okay. 
I'm sorry for like what I said earlier, but I was just like expecting another stall deck, and I don't think I would have been ready for that. Eh? Now, chapter one is pretty fucking sick. All right. There we go. Mm hmm. Okay, is it crimson mode time? Only time will tell. But I'm doing my best to just kind of like, you know, just like rush it here. Ocean? Okay. This is fine. Interesting choice. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no more reading. Simply play by instinct now. And what do you think we're doing out here? We just kind of... Ah, oh, does it matter? Not really. Bye. Alright, one memory I so one of these and let's go it's a shame that not both can overclock but also it makes complete sense here oh wait no they can oh i take it back Yeah, we got like big memory because I know like Hunter is like rushing. I know he's actually a pretty a pretty good player. Yeah, they can both use overclock, but not both attack. -y. That's what I meant. My banner. Alright. There goes one of them. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Actually, wait, you have more evolution cards, right? Huh? Actually, I don't want to lose Sandramon. I want to. I want to lose Sandramon. All right. Yeah, I'm about to talk about yeah. So it, the minus um six um is definitely mighty juicy. We're at Hong Kong time. Hell yeah, we love clowning out here. Alright. Dude, I know we said we have like a little bit of a time constraint, but like, you didn't have to throw this hard. Like, that's like to the point where it's just... Man. The more I watch it, the more I think you would like it. It's honestly pretty fucking sick. Oops, I didn't mean to. I didn't want me to activate Changram and I meant to use you. There we go. Like, it's just incredibly aggressive while just trying to like, keep the opponent's. Um... No, there you go. And no. Man! <laughs> this is the opposite of last time, bro. GG. <laughs> GG, but why? <laughs> I feel bad. I genuinely feel bad. It's like the worst way this could have ended. I but I also don't like no, to everyone. I have to literally leave. And... <laughs> 10 minutes max, bro. Unfortunately, that's not an option. But like, we have to like, do a rematch. I was asking for just not in one hour. Oh, well, still, we had some really good matches today. I'm still pretty happy. Mm -mm -mm. Let me just... In. How is Nimmon going? Doing? Nobody's cleaning after him. Nobody's feeding him. Nobody appreciates him. I'll actually write down the stats. 50 happy, 10 hunger for next time. And maybe over time he will digivolve. I want to believe. But in the, I put so much effort into this old dude. Oh, it's on cooldown. That's weird because like pooping should take... Longer for him than cleaning. I mean, somebody tried to clean him while he was just... We're trying. Oh, man. 
It's okay. It's okay. The stats are written down. Oh, I hope this has been fun for you guys. I know I had plenty of fun. Some bra moments, some really nice matches here. Now, um, as far as schedule goes, we have tomorrow, Ocarina of Time Care Edition, and on Sunday, MH Dose. It's really fun to watch how you do. I'm still thinking about like the Shine Grey Mon and Grey Snow Mon match earlier. Like that was. Ooh. Yeah, it's so much fun watching. Not sure what you were watching, but it was cool. Hell yeah. Again, if you want, like, want a match, just like, you know, hop on Discord and I'll, when I have free time, I'll definitely hop on. Mm hmm. It was like, no, thank you guys for hanging out here. Couldn't get in the same around, but maybe next time. I'll definitely, next time I stream, I'll stream for longer. It's just today, not a possibility. But I'll definitely do another stream in October. Uh, when exactly, I don't know yet. I'll definitely announce it properly beforehand. And you know what? I'll go as long. I'll definitely go like longer than six hours for sure. So that way... So that way it ain't gonna be... Too much of a biggie. The box arrived yet? I got trolled. I thought my EX7 was arriving yesterday. And I was like, oh, let me, let me, let me, let me stop the tracking. Let me stop the tracking. It was actually a binder. And I, just, I, I was like, okay, I have no other big packages coming my way. It has to be the EX7 box. No, it wasn't the stupid fucking binder that I got like a... And now, um... Yeah, uh, it should be arrived either between today and tomorrow. I'll definitely update you guys too. If I get in, I'll definitely do an um, unboxing on Discord too. How do you think I felt? I was like, yes, the box. Why is it so light? Oh no. Oh no! I'll drop you guys off over to some monster on stuff. I know. It's honestly like such an honor to like be able to like stream whatever is fun to me. Even though I know like TCG stuff is not like the most engaging, especially when you're not. Eh? Especially when you're not. Um, you know, super into it yourself. But I do hope that I can at least like somewhat introduce people um, um, to it here. Or just like, you know, maybe like show some hype matches. The box is heavy. I think like, you know, a box with like 20 something booster packs is heavier than like an empty binder. You would join anti gold movie to bring it down to free security. You, you fucking got it. Mm -mm. Cardboard! <laughs> Alright. Then, as for the right message, uh, did you read him or card read him? Cardboard crack read. You know what? Choose whatever you like. And with, with that said, I'm gonna make myself um, ready. Alright, bye bye. Oh, it's about